everybody. Oh my Hello. god. And I realized what was going on. The camera was turned off. I thought we almost had a right in a correct intro for one night. I like all my god. We're yeah. not sharing anything. <laughs> It's good not to break what you're doing. Yeah, but people are watching anyway, so... I'm loving here already, my god almighty. Yeah, so welcome to our smooth Saturday night. Yes. Uh, we are keeping tradition up. It's a Pam Jam today, and family is all about tradition. Hey there, all you with your radio <laughs> God, where was that coming from? <laughs> <coughs> I've been uh, training. Uh, you've been doing something. <laughs> that, that all counts, too. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Okay, good. Like, for example, did you know that today is the National Superhero Day? I did not know that. <laughs> did you guys know that today is the National Superhero Day? Mm. What is your favorite superhero? Sleeping Man. Guys, what is your favorite superhero? Mm. Anybody? Anybody excited uh, Anybody? for the new Avengers uh, movie that's coming up? Uh, everybody's so excited. Uh, I hear on the forums and radio people talking about it. Oh my god, my sister's actually in the house. No, you can't talk bad about her now. So. <laughs> I want to thank my sister for her gracious hospitality tonight. We had a great time at her place for supper and that. So thank you very much. I appreciate that. We all had a great time. And see you then. Well, we have to do a shout out. You guys are so good today. All of you are in already. We have Miss Cassie in already. Miss Cassie is our special guest. Yes, she is. We're going to wait till her husband comes out of the shower. Her husband is in the shower. So, he is? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Well, so. Cassie, it's starting it off. <laughs> well, it's, uh, I, as you've seen on our Twitter today, it's all life. Uh, it's yeah. all nut house. It's all life uh, here, too. Uh, Patsy, hi, it's so nice to see you. Thank you so much for the shout out. That was yeah. amazing. I, I loved it. I loved it, loved it, loved it. It was perfect. Uh, life has, uh, how would you say that? Life, life has number eight? Yes. Hi. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, Donnie Shasho, hi. Uh, just saw some Twitter with this guy, hopefully soon on as our guest as well. Uh, yeah, he's got a great job. We put him recently. It's funny. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, yeah. yes. Uh, hopefully, we can uh, make a comedy. <laughs> I'm not playing at all, Patsy. Yeah. I, just so everybody can go, and I'll take even the volume down. But I just was showing that we were in there. Look at that. I love it. <laughs> this is a bit trip. from our uh, live stream yeah. with the best friend in your thread. It was amazing, Stephanie. Yeah, it was so uh, cool. We had a real cool yeah. Uh, live with her. So thank you so much, Patsy. Uh, Alien6467, uh, lots of echo. Oh my god, we're, is it? Where is it saying yeah. Well, because we unfortunately are not oh. using headphones. Oh, That's because I already. Also, Hang on one second. It's, hi, guys. I had to take care of the microphone again, and I didn't. I only turned it one way and not the other. So excuse me. So that it, didn't help echo yesterday, it, though. No, oh, I'm just wondering, is it any better now, guys? Probably not. Iron Man rules! Yay! Yes, that's right. Somebody answered me. Um, T Srog is in. Uh, thank uh, you so much for your amazing comment. Yes, uh, that really meant a lot. Yeah, I uh, made really my day awesome. ten times over. Thank you so much. Um, Ray Hayden is in. Hi. Hopefully Ray. your renovations are going great. Yes. Are you done, or are you still in the middle of those? Butterfly Brook, hi, Rick and uh -huh. I are here. So hi, Rick from the Corner Lab Network. And Where are you, Rick? Yeah, hi. thank you. Are you hi. lurking, Rick? Amores420, Ponce, good evening. Excalibur Media, welcome. I love, you've been pretty much every night here, I think. Right? Uh, yeah, um, since the first time, yeah. I think uh, they came in. Right. I've been the paid tourist. How far are you at today? Mm. <laughs> you overslept this morning because you were up yesterday. Well, you guys were naughty yesterday. No naughtiness today. So, so no 2 a.m. today. <laughs> yeah, and guys, yeah, tonight, because I see bottle caps there. Welcome, bottle, bottle cap. Tonight's a very family issue, uh, family show. We have a full family going to be on, hopefully. Yeah, so family. 
Keep it G rated. Yeah, keep it G rated. <laughs> we'll save Please. them for later. We'll have an after party at Stephanie's or something yeah, after. So. so save it all for then. Because otherwise, like be I'll have to put you in detention again. <laughs> you, you guys, Ervin and Bottle Caps, both of you. <laughs> <laughs> Ray Hayden, I can't. You've been. He does such amazing video. I was wanting to get back to him a minute ago. Really love what you're doing in that phone the place. You have. You, I told him the other day. He reminds me of Bob Vila. Do you know who Bob Vila is? I didn't think so. He was like American home uh, repair guru for a long time. And why he's got would the, I know it? That's what I figured. That's why I told you. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. No, even a lot of women knew who he was. I, it was. I forget what channel was on in the States. In Canada, he was on CBC. They pretend and they knew. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. I'm listening. <laughs> All right, guys. We're going to have a talk again. <laughs> I'm, uh, yeah. Let's, let's make this intimate. I just... I don't know what she's on today. I'm a little scared here, so we're just going to play it by ear. If you see the magic code, please get help. Remember, if you see the fingers, I'm in No, Nobody trouble. understands that. The potato sack. Yes, and the safety word is potato sack. Back to your regular scheduled programming. Again. Yeah. Stick to one thing for once. Uh, hi, Corn Life. Uh, yep. Nathan like drums is in. Nathan. Nathan the drummer. And Rick, uh, uh, oh my god, now I feel bad because I forget the name of the box, and I should know because we used to sell them, but he knows what I mean. So, our two percussionists Cajun, it's a Cajun box, box. yeah, drum, Cajun drum, Cajun drum. There. I know something. This is a great stream, Might thank you so much, Rick. And it's because house renovator is, we have 23 I know people in here who drum. make it a great oh. stream. Without you guys, it's absolutely nothing. I'm honored to have each and every one of you here tonight. It means a lot. This is a great stream. Thank you, Rick. So great yeah. to see you both on. Yep. Uh, amazing people. Amazing people. And we're going to get together next week on his channel. Form Life Network in the mornings. Great way to start off your day, guys. If you haven't checked him out already, please do. It's the perfect way. It's uh, it's the perfect way to enjoy your morning. Get started. Get going. Nice and relaxed. Great conversation. Oh, uh, well, Tristar or Tristar, as somebody yeah, told me. Traveler is in. Hi, hopefully it's all going upwards. Yep. Uh, hopefully you guys are good. Uh, Coast to Coast Drones. Hi. Yes, there's another great channel. Really informative. Makes me jealous every time. I said my wife probably gets angry every time I watch his channel because I get lots of ideas. So. Um, Calvin Climber is in. Climbing. Climbing video is heights. on. See, see, I told you he's climbing all the time. Bradford I'm... Backwoods, welcome. I just watched your video while ago. We were chatting back and forth. He's so eclectic. I love this guy. He has a, and you would love it. He has antique kitchen. Uh... I, I don't. I'm gonna have see, to show you he's after. He's talking to me like I've never watched the videos, but let's you didn't watch talk. that video because it just came out. And well, I would know generally, if you were there. yeah. Yep. Thanks. What oh. do you want? Potato sack. <laughs> Potato sack. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bottle caps got Jody. Oh, back. there you go, Jody. <laughs> Jody right, should I let the get out of the bag? Jo yeah, Jody yeah. is is bottle caps your first subscriber. <laughs> Sorry, we can't say subscriber. Supporter. Let let guys see. Yeah. Uh uh. No, yeah. he's the second one. So Jody, Jody. Mm -hmm. For all that you that don't know, that's actually Jody is my sister. So. It's her first time, I believe, that I've noticed her on. She might have been lurking. Yeah, she She's might have been hiding so. behind. So. so, yeah, I don't know if she has any content yet. Uh, she has a she has a mouth on her like a drunken sailor, so be careful. Uh-uh. <laughs> you and, suck, you yeah. and bottle caps are going to get along just fine. Let's put it to you that way. Yeah. APGH Travels is in. Hi. Oh, and excellent. once again, yes, we are a dinner show for yeah. Philip Cochran. Yeah. He's making dinner yeah. while listening to us. That's amazing. We love that. Butterfly got my back. She said, Video Sack. Thank you. Send help. Perfect, yeah. Tiff Rock. That's just great. Thank yep. you for saying hi. It's so good to have you here. And, and we'll talk loud so you can hear us while you're doing it. <laughs> and for those of you who are still hiding out there and not in the chat, uh, even if you're busy or shy, just drop in and say yep, hi. Definitely. We would just love to see you. <laughs> you want to support Jordan? Try Star, excellent. Let's that maybe motivate her to start making videos. And uh let's check. I want to check TriStar's count. Let's see. Now, Jody, this is TriStar. She's 
I found her in a channel and she had 73 subs, supporters, whatever the hell you want to call it. <laughs> there we go. So there's the big all of that. She's got an amazing channel, homeschooling channel, lots of great content. And now today, which was probably what, two to three weeks at the most? Yeah. 603 members, supporters, all the good stuff. Isn't that absolutely amazing? That's that's like huge, huge, huge growth. Congratulations to you, TriStar. I'm really happy for you. And you've been really getting out there and meeting with people and doing the right things and good for you. That's perfect. Well, uh, unknown trail 84. Uh, yes. So waiting for the guest. I think we're, yep. uh, ready for that. Yeah. Too. God, they report in so quickly. Uh, uh, usually we wait a couple of minutes to let everybody get a chance to get in and stuff like that. Check it out. More crazy stuff to come. I will. Definitely. Yeah. Uh, definitely. Uh, what was that from Cold Sports Wars? I don't know if you know. Uh, I was posting links to you guys on Facebook and Twitter. Yeah. Oh, you're sharing the stream. Is that what you're? By the way, if you haven't shared the stream yet, go and press that share button right now. Or yeah. if you are too lazy to do that, go on our Twitter at Push Studios <laughs> and retweet our tweet. <laughs> Whatever works, That's works. It. Just That's share it. it. Yep. Yeah. There was a the candy coated answer for all. Well, we never <laughs> candy coated anything. It's it's transparency. Yeah. It's honesty. That's what we are here. So mm -hmm. why? We need the shares. So. <laughs> save, the, <laughs> save that wow butterfly. You're going to be able to pose it a lot, it looks like, tonight. <laughs> oh, hi, Valeria. Mm. Florence, Italy. It's 2.14 a.m. Yes. We've seen you on a, a train, a train stream, stream. stream. Yeah, we were having a nice dinner, and we were watching a train stream. Yep, yeah, I'm almost sure yeah. we haven't done that in that ever, I think, almost. I loved it. I kids loved were inside it. playing. And Model that. train. Uh, yeah, yep. um, that was nice. A uh, uh, train, uh, t not train man, uh, Tony. I forget his name now. It will come back to me. See, they're sharing now. I'm yep. sharing, sharing. Yes, ma'am. Tweeted it out. <laughs> See, that, yeah. that's what, why, yeah. why to hide it? Why to say that it, I don't know why. And Just you wonder what you wonder why they're comparing you to Chef Ramsay sometimes. Seriously, well, Chef Ramsay was better comparison than that, uh, uh Jerry Springer. <laughs> well, there was Jerry Springer. You had about four names going at one point. And yeah, kind of scared would, them all into and stuff. it wasn't an hour stream anyway, so I, I don't think I'm ever like a Jerry Springer or, or Jeff Ramsey on our stream. Uh, I know, I beg to differ sometimes. <laughs> Although Bowel Cap yeah. sentence that he better prefers morning uh, streams uh, still, I think, uh, run deeply in my heart, and I'm thinking about that daily since then, Bottle Caps. And so I've been hearing about it hourly about it. since you said it, so. Yeah. But thank so. you, Bottle Caps, you got my back. I don't know. Donnie is in Yorkshire, England, 116 there. I know, buddy, and you are a trooper. Yeah. Thank you so much. That's why we're trying to set something up so it works for him, too. It's yeah. So, yeah, it's uh, Twitterized. Thank you, Caps. Thank you. Ray Hayden tweeted, thank you so much. You guys are unbelievable. Seven sounds good. Yep. Yeah. Uh, just send me a confirmation, please, uh, Donnie, so I, I have it all in one place. Okay. Thank and like you. for late night like that, you know, if you can even get, get, I know it's a lot to give. You can give an hour, you know, it doesn't have to be the full two hours. Brooke, Jerry, Jerry, Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> Brooke is the best. I'm nice and fuzzy. <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah. soft and fuzzy and nice. Bipolar. <laughs> <laughs> All those great things that, like, yeah. that warms the heart. Huh? <laughs> There you go, folks. <laughs> oh, yeah, once again, because I just closed the window. Don't forget after to go to Patsy Houlihan's. Uh... Is our audio a little low? Uh, Maybe you should turn up your volume. <laughs> yeah, guys, we're just here to please. Yeah, it was turned down. Six, there we go. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. There, so, see, thank you, guys. And even though it was any sarcastic remarks, we appreciate you telling Yeah, us. we need to do a show on Monday. Oh, only Andrew. I see. I see. What is going on now? <laughs> no way. It's either both of us or none. Tip. I don't know. When I said, you know, we should do a live stream together and see how it goes, I wasn't <laughs> quite bargaining for the way all this kind of went. You know, it's amazing how things can come back to say thank you. Thank you. See, Bronix, you're here, so we could do we could do you we could have you on on the weekend on a Saturday. Yeah. That would work the best.
Because we, yes, butterfly. Thank you. Potato sack, potato sack. Never forget. Uh, fingers up, potato sack. Thank you, Brooke. You're a savior, a yeah. sweetheart. She's used to helping people. Yeah, I'll you love her some uh, sarcastic remarks. Of course you would. Yes, Jody's on my side. See? Mm. Thank you, girl. Oh. If you a little bit of background about my sister, she was born horizontally cha uh, or vertically challenged, so we uh, we always give her a little bit of extra leeway in life. So, <sighs> but if you ever see a step stool at a, at a shopping mall and somebody has to use it to get on to to be able to see in the mirror over the sink, think of my sister. See, <laughs> Philip wants wife feet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Phil. I know Philip was throwing me under the two, bus. Husband zero. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> a little dumpling. Well, one from Bottle Caps. Sorry, yeah. Bottle Caps is not in, so he ran away as soon as we said it has to be P PG rated. Uh, oh. a little dumpling. Hi, <laughs> Larry Johnson. Larry Johnson with the greatest porn star name that ever came out of the seventies. We talked with him the other night, and he he likes it, so I want to keep that going for him. Love mm. his name. We debated his name for like forty minutes. It was yes. uh, best friend uh, Stephanie from Best Friend and said thought it was a mixture of Larry uh, Bird and uh, 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 Johnson, the basketball player. Good God, Magic Johnson. There we go. Yes, Butterfly Brook. Maybe we should take oh. it over. Uh, your <laughs> channel, my channel, doesn't matter. If if my channel, I'll take over Andrew's coffee stream there. Enough with that. So <laughs> what are you on? <laughs> I was going to think you're like. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's all good. <laughs> potato, sack, potato sack. Well, we're playing opposites, you know. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's right. I'm usually running here, like screaming, yelling with the whip. <laughs> Don't you? Yeah, why not? <laughs> Depends on the. Night. Oh God, you're the one who preached everybody keep it PG. So you I am. yeah, I've seen that. I see where it's all going. So, I thought you're talking about yeah, work or something. That's, <laughs> Well, guys, I guess it's soon time to bring out the guests. It's so amazing to have so many of you in here so early. Honor would be an understatement of the century. So. <laughs> yes, we really appreciate that. And we are going to have yeah. an amazing night tonight. And by the way, I just noticed that today is Independent Bookstore Day. Oh, what a coincidence. My. There you because go. Oh, Ms. yeah, Cassie, See, like, wife is always right, right? Okay. Uh, Miss Cassie reads books on her YouTube channel. That's what uh, mostly she was doing before she uh, there you go, transformed folks. it to uh, <laughs> it's Jessie, it's <laughs> Miss Cassie and Jessie channel. Before that, she was reading uh, books. She's a teacher, so she was reading books on her YouTube channel. And then when I seen today, it's Independent Bookstore Day, I thought, what's a great coincidence yeah. to have Cassie on this day? I, met, I was more surprised how many times you could put books in the same line. You were well, really we're going to be like a drinking game or something books. like that. So, yeah, you'll be, you, the camera yeah. will be turned like the salon. So. I don't have much to bring to the table. <laughs> I don't read. <laughs> Kathy, what is your favorite book? <laughs> it's going to be the main question today. So you guys prepare your answers. Um, actually, Q for Treason from grade seven. That's always been my favorite book. There you go. You weren't expecting that one, were you? No, I wasn't. You expected wasn't. a bunch of X's in the name, but there you tricked you. I mean, on that note, Miss Kathy, I just sent you the link. Yeah, uh, just in case there's still all the family there <laughs> yeah. after all this introduction <laughs> and talk. Yep. Uh, we just sent you a <coughs> link. Excuse me. And we're so excited to see you on our show tonight. Got to say thanks, Push Studios. A few times I've been on. I've gathered some sounds that some has said that came from here. Well, welcome. We are really uh, not drumming <laughs> up for that, but we're very happy if yeah. you guys support each other. Uh, you know, that's that's the amazing uh, there, There's no platform here. There's uh, It's just everybody being together with each other and then helping each other out. I don't mind seeing that at all. It's uh, part of the whole experience of being here and plus getting to know each other better. So it's not just one time that you guys will have each other for years to come. If, you got, if that happens, we've done our job. Yeah, That's, exactly. So. Uh, thank you, Larry, for dropping by. Yes, uh, yes if, if you can, please come by back. Uh, we're going to be still here. Yeah. <laughs> and you never, you never told us your favorite book. I thought it would be like Boogie Nights or something like that for the name. Come on, man. You're letting me down here. Brooke, do you have to leave? <laughs> oh, no. Brooke has to leave? I'm sorry, I have to go to the bookstore. Yeah, and that's your joke. <laughs> oh, well, <laughs> that's right. Bye. Uh, yes. Hey! Hi. How are you? So good to see you. Oh, 
see you all. That's amazing. I need to try it on my YouTube channel. Hold on. I thought it'd be like Boogie Nights or something like that. For the <laughs> oh, oh, great. Oh, God. He's trying to get it. I think, I think I've got it right. We tried to calm the audience down before you guys got on. Sorry about that. <laughs> I'm so glad you got to almost all of your family. Yep. I was going to put question marks over all the faces in the thumbnail, but then I said they were too good looking to hide. So, yeah. Our true entertainer is here. Oh, that's great. How are you doing? They're talking to you. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen so much of you lately on the screen. I want to find out how you're doing and about your ankle. How's it going? Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry, couldn't hear you. It's hard to hear you guys. You're very quiet. Good. <laughs> Got you. That's good. Well, would you mind introducing your family? Yes. Okay, so of course everyone knows Jessie. She's been part of the brand new YouTube channel that we started in April. This is my husband, Chris. Oh, hi. Nice to meet you, Chris. Hi, Chris. Hi, nice to meet you. This is Thank my third son, Michael. Now he's been a great sport. He's participated in a few of Jesse's videos. I've seen that. I want to give him a commendation after. I'm very proud of him. A good brother. Yeah. Thanks. Our oldest is home at the moment, but has resorted Evacuated. to the basement. <laughs> Hiding. He is our, oh, our soldier. He is active in the U.S. Army, and he does not want to be on camera, does not want to know anything about his life. He's being very humble. He's in the basement. Mm. Well, like I say, always please congratulate him from us. Like I say, it doesn't matter the country or whatever. Anybody who gives service automatically has respect. So Yes. Yeah, and mm. our second, who is getting married in August, is not home this weekend. He is still away at college. Oh, well, we'll give him his best, and I'm sure we'll be getting lots of updates. As the, I'm sure you're excited for the date to get closer. <laughs> yeah, yeah we're, we're very excited about it. It's so cool. <laughs> it's a pleasure to meet you all. I'm so glad you guys could come. We're excited to be here. Well, I'm excited to be here. <laughs> <laughs> He's being a very good sport. I understand completely. <laughs> but I am glad you could make it. <laughs> yeah, YouTube, cameras, not not his thing. <laughs> well, people in the chat are really uh, yeah. excited to see you guys all uh, because we always see mostly Cassie or Cassie and Jesse. And it's nice to see, uh, you know, a more extended family. Right. And people in the chat are so excited and saying hi. And so yeah. I think we, we were crossing our fingers. Big time. <laughs> <laughs> that you're going to be on, Chris. So uh, it's, that's great. Thank you well, so I'm much. I'm going now. No. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I figured he had humor. I was sure of that. I think because of so much. <laughs> we were making bets in here if you existed or if Kathy was just making you up. We had 50 to 1. <laughs> <laughs> I owe my sister $120 now. <laughs> I placed that bet. <laughs> yeah, well, there you go. <laughs> I guess I'm losing it now, right? <laughs> It's so good to have you know. I'm glad. I know it's not the most comfortable. We were really uncomfortable at first. I don't even think we're still really comfortable. No, yeah, and probably a little bit more than when we started. Yeah. But it's still, it's still the trouble, tr trouble, 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 trouble yeah. is still there. <laughs> <laughs> we have a joke that every time we start before we press the button, it looks like the scene from Armageddon. You know, yeah. like we got all hands. And, <laughs> and if you've seen some of our beginnings of our lives when we actually <laughs> don't share the video, and then you can see everything falling and Andrew cursing. So, <laughs> that's how it happens almost every time. We try to be professional. Yeah, very. <laughs> Andrew, he heard your code word, and I asked him, "What's our code word?" <laughs> that potato sack. <laughs> it's one of the few things I heard. My my family's texting me. There's a oh god, are they all watching you? Yeah, the group texting thing. No. Yeah, no. The, the group texting thing here. Oh, well, what, Jesse? I got right. Wait. There's been like 25 messages. On. He, oh my god. His side of the family has a group text. I'm not part of it, but they started calling him right before we were about to go live, and oh, I said, no. "Don't leave me. We're gonna go live in a minute." <laughs> <laughs> oh, I feel bad for him though. If it's something important, yeah, we, you know. Please. But as long as you promise to come back, if you gotta leave, <laughs> no, it's not important. But they, they are very insistent that uh, you respond. So, oh, that's okay. That's <laughs> we always say life first. 
So <laughs> I guess guys, um, right from the, right I, I tweeted tonight 40 minutes before the stream because I started panicking. <laughs> I, that was hilarious. That was I. Oh my god! <laughs> such a we have such a nut house sometimes going on too. So when you tweeted today about you know, yeah. uh, for those of you who didn't see, uh, Kathy was tweeting like frying fish and and uh, you know, husband is in the basement and her daughter hit her foot and it's like. Such a that house. Oh my god, in 40 minutes live. Yeah. I thought you're describing our house. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's like a mirror. Yeah. It's like what's going on. It's like, ah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I I have often said if you guys would just let me put the camera on, people need to see our real life. Because it truly is real life here. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> and for me, it's entertaining. But for them, and sometimes for me, it's embarrassing because you want to be presentable, you want yes. to be an all American family, but yeah. in reality, we're all yelling at each other. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're all, you know, stop it! <laughs> <Stop it! laughs> and we're really not. We all we all try to be the Waltons, but we end up being married with children in the end. Yes, yeah. <laughs> oh, so true. true. So true. And I've been trying to explain this to him. <laughs> Come on, be a part of my world. It's it's real. I promise you, it's not just virtual. It's real. We were Alan Peg one one Halloween. Remember? We were Alan Peg Bundy for Halloween. Were you? Oh my god! Oh, if you ever find a picture, I want to see it because yes. that's my favorite show of all time. Please. <laughs> it is a great really? Show. Yeah. I, except we had to go to a Halloween party, and my husband had to Google all the lines so that he oh. could actually become Al Bundy before we oh, left. That... We got in a big argument before we went to the party because I was like, "Really? You're <laughs> that into the character?" <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing <laughs> oh my god uh, that's so cool that yeah. that show liberated so many people though you know it, it sounds like just a tv show but it really got away from this everything has to be perfect every second and everything was fixed in a half hour it was more than just a goofy show there was that message that nobody is perfect you know that's my <laughs> goal for uh, not only well not for this channel that i monetize but for my blog channel that i don't monetize i want to be real i want to be raw yeah. i want to know i want everyone to know that i'm a mom of four and i go through struggles of course that's what life's all about nothing's but perfect when i try to be that mom and i try to show my reality no one wants to cooperate with me <laughs> well that's real life <laughs> <laughs> Let's bring on the star for a moment because I don't know how long she'll last. Not a problem. Okay, no let's problem. go for it. Sounds great. Well, Hi. Interview Jesse and let's just see yep. how she reacts. So Jesse, let's start off by you doing Veda this week. I know you had a bit of a setback with your ankle. We'll get to that in a moment. What was it like doing Veda? Did you like it? Because that's a lot of pressure every day. It was hard because I had school every day. Yes, I can imagine. But did you like the process of making videos? Mm-hmm. And is that something you want to continue yeah. with? Um, yeah, I guess. Yeah? Yes. yes. <laughs> that is the same, sure. You seem pretty into it when I watch you. You you seem like you're having a pretty good time with it. Yeah, act yeah. like you're making a video. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> but yeah, your, your big brother was in a lot with you, so that was pretty cool. <laughs> he was pretty good, too. He's, he's pretty easy, agreeable with a lot of stuff, I find. You're lucky to have a big brother like that. I love you. Are you shy today? <laughs> no, I think she's afraid of getting in trouble because on our live streams, I said, be presentable. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to. Okay, here. You're going to look right at me. You don't have to be presentable at all. You just be you. Yeah, it's, yeah. A, it's on our live That's stream. That's right. So, so there yeah, are no rules. There's no rules. Yeah. We set the rules and there's none. You just talk away. Who's <laughs> your favorite person to make videos with? Me, myself, and I. All right. Well, you're always in. That's a very good answer. So now when your ankle heals back up, do you have any plans for any new videos coming? Um, no. No? Maybe, maybe you could make an, a video talking about your ankle and what happened and uh, just about how it's been to not be able to do some of the stuff for a couple of days. Yeah. That was good. 
<laughs> I'd watch that. That's right. Yeah, I like that. It's understandable that when, you, when you're when you hurting, you know, your days are not really well, you don't want to do things like making videos about it. Yeah. You just want to do what you want, you know, and have fun. So, you know, that, yeah. that, that, that passed. So now it's exactly. time to have more videos. I love your slime videos. I think I have told that hundreds I've heard of about a times. Thought, I hear about your slime videos every time you make one for days. So she does love them. Yeah, and I keep coming back to the ones that I already watched. I don't know what's, what's about it, but it's, it's just something. Just yeah. to watch making it you know and oh uh, yeah so i like it and i even my uh told my son i think 25 times today again about this <laughs> so more excited than he's and he's 11. Well, uh, he loves to watch slime videos yeah that's amazing I, it is what you watch yeah. all the time <laughs> Have you ever thought that you would be entertained by watching slime videos? I was so excited to discover it. It's just something so relaxing. Yeah, I watch. I, I do too. That's what we watch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still trying to figure it out myself, and I see the love into it, and it's like her eyes light up, and the yeah, kids I are know. all into it's it. I'm just because I'm the old man that doesn't quite understand. <laughs> no, I'm that I'm that old man too. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Yeah. She spent a hundred dollars of her Christmas money on slime materials. Uh, wow. Wait, I want you to see my look. <laughs> there we go. Okay, now we're back to you. But I love your dedication. Oh, yeah, so good. <laughs> so, are you going to buy more slime? Um, well, I have a gallon of glue. Oh my god! Wow! Wow! <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I just love it. The different types and with the beads and stuff like that. I'm just, I don't know. I, I just. Yeah, we have a great video, Michael. You want to tell it? When you pop the bubble slide. Oh, <laughs> that thing on my face. <laughs> He's like, I was already in it. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> Tell him about when you and Matthew. I don't know. Slime. She had this like really good slime. It was like the best slime she ever made. So I wanted to make some because it was the only slime I ever liked. It was a weekend when her and Matthew and Michael came home for the weekend. They're like, Jesse, let's make slime. Well, I, Here's the slime. The slime was really good. You could like blow bubbles with it. And stuff. Oh, no. Yeah. Not really. I don't want to play with it right now. Oh, that but is the like, slime. That's the like, slime they made. Like oh, my God. Really <laughs> slime. Holy. Wow. Like, that's crazy. So they made this video. Well, they didn't make it on purpose, but I shared it on my Facebook. So Michael blew a bubble with it, and then he was, it was totally spur of the moment, but he, she goes, smack me, and he <laughs> And he smacked her in the face and it like went all over her. Oh. <laughs> oh my God. It's like America's funniest videos. <laughs> we, have, we have a lot of that happening around here. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. That's so amazing. That the stuff is. Like... See, I can make a million of my family. They won't let me share any of it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're not such good sports all the time. <laughs> oh, you share it all. I try. I try to share. But they that, get really mad at me. <laughs> that's a mom dad thing right there. The mom thinks she's not sharing enough of the dad's like, yeah, we got plenty. We're good. <laughs> there you go. uh, It'd be great for ancestry.com. Michael say <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye. It was take care of yourself. Well, thank you so much for coming. Yeah. We'll have to wait. Actually, we're not losing you yet. You come right back here. I want to talk to you for a yeah, second. <laughs> I know once you're gone, you're never walking in front of the camera again, so I'm not losing you. So I just want to get a little bit, just tell us a little bit about yourself. As you don't have to go deep. This is not Springer. We're not bringing out anybody from your past. Just, <laughs> <laughs> just tell us a little bit about you. Uh, I'm a freshman in college right now, and I'm studying computer engineering. Oh. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Where are you studying? Uh, Southeast Missouri State. Nice. Computer engineering. We need to I tell work. my children not to give too much personal information on the internet. No, no, that's why we're keeping wow. it very light. Yeah. So, I, but I, I am glad about the school. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah. We're not from Missouri. No, so, that's that's a good one. See, so that works. And, and, and how are you liking it? Uh, I like it. I like being there a lot. I like my friends there, but the school part is. Absolutely terrible. Oh. Why is that? You don't like the classes, or? Um, the classes aren't necessarily. No, actually, the classes are awful. <laughs> um, Calculus, yeah. physics. 
right now I'm taking Calc 2 and I'm in uh, Physics right now. Oh. Both of them take probably about a collective like 20 to 30 hours of my time every week. Wow. That's, yeah. a, That's lot. a lot of time. Yeah. yeah. And Cal 2 has never been known to be fun. If you meet somebody who says Cal 2 is fun, you might want to find some new friends. That's always been the kind of rule of thumb. Yeah. But it is part of the step to get where you want to go. So and not everything's fun in life. So I guess that's just part of it. It's another life lesson. Mm -hmm. My dad always says if school or if work was like school, no one would do it. That's right. How true is that? That's You got a smart father there. Thank yeah. you. Well, I'm glad. And uh, do you think you're going to stick with it? Do you think it's what you're hoping it will be? And well, I want to stick with it, but my dad wants me to do cybersecurity. Cybersecurity. That's a great future. Yeah. That's a really great. And do you want to go into that? Uh, it's pretty interesting. Oh, don't start a family. <laughs> this is not Springer from last time. <laughs> it would definitely be a lot easier. Yeah. Um, but I feel like I, I like computer engineering, and um, it has like a lot more flexibility whenever I'm out of college because – with an engineering degree, you can even go into like business, with like marketing and accounting and and things like right. that. Right. Well, yeah. you saw the agreement right. on your shoulders, my yes. friend. I'm 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 quite impressed Sounds listening great. to you. You know, and uh, I'm I'm hoping all the best for you wherever you and your past go. I think you're gonna have no trouble succeeding in it. So, it's it's, it's hard to see. That's right. Good stuff. Thank you for sharing that with us. I know you're not too comfortable on camera. I didn't want to keep you too long, but I knew if you walk out of the frame, you're probably not coming back. Yeah. So I said, I'm going to catch you before you go. The basketball game. Oh, ba oh. oh, you got a basketball game. Yes. Well, we can't keep you too long oh, then. We got to ask him too before he goes about the school. So, how is uh, the girls there? Um, There's more girls there than guys, at least. Yeah. To say. Yeah. Yeah, a smart man. He's, uh, he picked a great future in business, and he picked a good school. I Hats thought off you were to going him. on the Jerry Springer note there. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope it really works out. Uh, I'm sure it will work out for you. Good luck with the basketball game and everything. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> thanks for having. Have, thanks for giving us some of your time. <laughs> he's going to watch the basketball game. Yeah. Oh, he's going to watch. Oh, sorry. It's a. Uh, is your mic? Can you guys bring your? Is it on the laptop? Your microphone. Yeah, we don't have okay. a time. Maybe Sorry. I'll get you just a little bit closer if you can, just because oh, here he's a bit better. Sorry there. about that. Oh, look at that. That's a nice there. looking family. Eh? <laughs> it's like a Coca-Cola commercial. I love it. <laughs> kind of, yeah. Get to see the pores and all. No, I only see beauty, my dear. All he is. <laughs> I love that slide. That's something that they're going to end up playing with and then find out it can patch something on the space station. I can see that coming. <laughs> Yeah, I, just the consistency of it is exactly. unbelievable. It's almost like making your own plastic or something. Like it, 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 I, I, I don't know. It's, it's freaking me out. It's hypnotizing. I think <laughs> I I'm getting the slime thing now. <laughs> yeah, we've got about 25 pounds of it downstairs. Oh my god! Oh my! What are you gonna do with all that when the when the new it's trend not, comes? It's all, in? all up here. It's all up oh, here. Oh, it's all up here now. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure the National Guard would love it. You can use it for any kind of breakage in bridges or anything like that. <laughs> There you go. I have a few holes around here. Well, so. people are still excited to see you all. The, uh, the new ones that are coming in as well. And uh, Patsy and Butterfly Brook are both saying how nice you, Cassie, look today. And uh, Patsy said that you look like Martha Stewart. Tonight. I knew that was coming. I knew <laughs> she was going to say that. I look like Martha Stewart. I don't know about that. Right. Martha Stewart was a model. Are you kidding? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> she was a homemaker. Yeah. And before she went to prison. Not the yeah, no, not, the, yes, not exactly. the prison Martha. The, yes. uh, the pre pre prison. We, we had to ask maybe Patsy, but <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I can't read the chat. We're only in Google Hangouts right now, so I feel kind of lost. Oh. oh, yeah. Well, I have it on, but if you want, you can put the YouTube on. Just pause the video, and you're going to still be able to see the chat. Yeah. The yeah chat sorry, still goes. sorry if we've ignored the chat. It's not our intention. If there mm. are going to be any questions, I'm going to hand it on to you. So. so I'm going to start with the hubby. I want to ask you a little bit about yourself. Uh, That's not it. Were, were you born and raised in the same state? Uh, nothing too personal, but just a little oh, bit about yourself. I what to do. That. I was born one state away in the beautiful state of Illinois. Oh, you were born in Illinois? Yes, Belleville, Illinois. 
Oh, okay. And uh, what brought you to, what was the first, like, have you been in this state a long time or? Oh, since I was in seventh grade. Oh, wow. Okay. So you. Yeah, I'm in a domain. Oh, and yeah. your parents live here? Like in the air? Yes. An interstate highway um, was built right through my home. Oh, no. <laughs> As a child. So we, we actually moved to Missouri then because it was closer to my dad's work. Oh, wow. wow. That's a, that's, I mean, it's sad and yeah. amazing all at the same time. Oh no! It was it was happy. It was a good thing. Yeah, <laughs> it was nice. Well, it, this was a better place. I ended up in a better place. Well, that's good. Then I mean, yeah, sometimes things do work out that way, and that's so. definitely. So, you're, uh, could I ask what you do for, for a living? Are you? I, I'm an engineer, electrical engineer. Oh, excellent! And you uh, do you work for a big company? Or are you a contractor or a power company? I work for the power company in Missouri. Nice. Oh wow! That's so cool. Yep. And you like are you? I guess you've been doing it a long time. You like it? Uh, yeah, definitely. They're a good company, and uh, a lot of exciting opportunities. And I'm actually in cybersecurity now. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's why the suggestion. So, so working, uh, the, the protecting the electric grid. I guess you probably hear about that all right. the time. Yeah, terrorists. And, yep. And atomic bombs and all those different things that can bring down the the power grid. So that's it's one thing I'm working on. So is that a position like that would have been kind of, I mean, there's only been some security around it, but is this something that's like new positions because of the stepped up, like, you know, over the last couple of years? Yeah, definitely. It's due to, the, due to our government's regulations. Um, there's a thing called CIP, which is Critical Infrastructure Protection. Right. And there are, there are multitude of, there's a, several of these standards. They go from physical security, like around substations and around power plants. And covering everything through cybersecurity to keep foreign entities and enemies of the state out out of our um, power grid. Wow, wow, that's so amazing! So cool because like in, we're I, I don't know if you know that if we're in uh, the we're in Canada, but we're in the province of Quebec, and Quebec is a huge hydro system. We feed a lot of like the north, like the tries uh, mm -hmm. the New England states and all that. Sure, and I that. Doesn't play. Play. <laughs> oh, sorry, what was that? I said I actually the part of the company I work in is, is actually hydro. Really? Oh wow. We we have three hydro plants. Oh, so you understand the whole system already then and so, so. yeah, the hydro stuff, yeah. Oh, that's very cool. Uh, it's, I mean it, it's part of the I mean and it's funny because all the northern states in Canada, we kind of control almost the water to a certain degree mm -hmm. that's going to the rest of the United States and even into Mexico in some places. Sure. We have first taps at it, so you know. Sure. Niagara Falls, right? That's right. That's right. I always tease the Americans that you guys got the better falls, but we got the better view because of that. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> but they actually, you know, they turn the water off at night, right? That's amazing. It's it's unbelievable. They turn the water off at night. <laughs> yes, they, they, they buy, <laughs> no, they bypass the falls at night and produce electricity. Yep. And bring it back in the morning. They there cut down off the I didn't know that yeah. seriously. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. Okay. I thought you were joking <laughs> for a moment. I'm like <laughs> it was like news to me too. <laughs> oh, wow. I had him on. I learned so much about him. Yep. I actually spent um we <laughs> had asking him questions. That's amazing. Yeah. I don't blame you. <laughs> the company ABB, which is an international company, but they have a division in, in Burlington, Canada. Which yes. Is near Toronto. And I've, I've probably been up there 30 times or so. Oh, really? Oh, cool. wow. A cool. You said it's ABB, right? Right, ABB. Yep, they're a European yeah. company. Yeah, we have one in Montreal here as well. It's yeah. A, I, I, yeah. Yep. But it's a smaller one probably compared to Toronto's the main hub for Canada or Eastern Canada, I would say. Pro could very well be. Yep. But I do know the name right away as soon as you said it. Yep. That's so cool. There you go. go, go, go. <laughs> I, think I think he's finally getting this whole YouTube live stream thing. Oh, that's good. I No, I find it very interesting. Like, uh, I don't know if Kathy told you, this has always been our goal is uh, getting to know people a little bit better because we've all kind of been thrown into this whole circus and it's nice now to be able to kind of go a little further. And even though we never met you, we hear lots about you. Kathy always says how she, you get, she gets giggling in bed at night and then you tell her it's either off the phone or out. So <laughs> you, you, you kind of got a mystique already around here. I mean, like, right. The bedrooms for sleep and well, yeah. not <laughs> I love this guy. You're my. I, we have to meet someday in real life. <laughs> You're my cup of tea, my friend. Oh my <laughs> oh, 
that. He's so it. amazing. Yeah, I, I know. Love it. I know. No, it's it's good we got him on today. It uses to, to use a baseball analogy. You're the guy that can always throw the right curveball because you never quite see it coming. I love the way he does it. Yeah. I have huge props for you for that. <laughs> oh, that's sweet. You're very kind. <laughs> and you as well. No, it's a real. I'm so glad to meet you. This is a. I think for everybody, it feels like it's like a long time coming because we got to know Kathy so well, and then Jesse, and this is like the natural next step. So we're gonna be waiting for your uh, videos to start coming out. Are you doing slide videos? I'm. What's that? I'm just a sidekick. <laughs> <laughs> you'll you'll you know what no no want to be the director? Oh no! Well, you know I I, I hold the camera lots of times. <laughs> oh, there you go. We are so much alike. Yes, I know. I know. This is exactly a nice conversations all the time between each other. That's why we say you're like a mirror. <laughs> oh, very good. Yeah, I don't like directing. I think I like spontaneity. Yeah. That everyone in this family is a lot funnier when they're not trying to be. That is so true. And it's more natural. And I mean, that's what people appreciate because I feel on YouTube in general, big or small channel, there's so much of that we're not supposed to be like the major networks. They do enough corny work trying to make things look unreal. I don't want to add to that. I just want to do our own thing. And if people like it, that's great. And people can relate, I think, to that. Same with you guys. Well, Coast to Coast says that dad needs a drone to enjoy <laughs> YouTubing. <laughs> you know, Michael is actually considered drone engineering. Oh. That would be something. Yes. Yeah. And I mean, that goes far right up in the military and everything. I mean, anywhere in between. Oh, my God. Yes. Yes, it's kind of the way sure. of the future. I like the drone racing. Did you watch that? Yes. Drone <laughs> racing. Yeah. It is amazing. With the goggles and everything. It is is incredible that these guys can fly these things so precisely. And it's great when they crash too. So it's Yeah, exactly. Which would be me. I, I would be good on the straight stretches, but to fly like that at 90 kilometers an hour is definitely there's an accident on a oh, I gotta somewhere. watch that. I never seen that. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, it's pretty cool. Amazing. Interesting. Yeah, but, I mean, those things cost, I'm sure, several thousand dollars. And then... yeah. Yeah, I, I, I couldn't have the heart to do it. I'm like you. I, would bra I wouldn't be able to be brave enough to put it in that kind of danger for the money it cost. Yeah, I mean, I guess, you know, like so many other things, they must be subsidized somehow, you know? Oh, yeah. there's they got to be. Yeah, I watch all this cute little family. You may, guys may know of Claire Crosby, Dave. Crosby was on The Voice. His yes. I follow, I've been following Claire since... She was little, and she and her dad were doing a video, and they were flying the drone, and it got stuck in a tree out by their hotel. Oh, no. <laughs> so cute, and I was like, "Oh, how?" And they couldn't, they couldn't get the drone out, so they just had to. They had lost the drone. Well, yeah, that's that's a lot of money to just say, "Oh well, we'll get another one." You know? <laughs> yeah. It's not a disposable camera we're talking about. <laughs> so. You see, in Canada, it's very hard with drones because the laws got extremely oh. tough all of a sudden. They went and put in temporary laws till they're voted in office. Yeah, yeah. So we're not allowed to fly within nine kilometers. That's what, five miles roughly, I think, of any, not only any airport, but any temporary airport or any place where a seaplane could take off. So, for instance, my parents live in a very rural area. There's only 280 people. But because they have a temporary airway that's used maybe twice a year, gravel road, you can't fly within nine kilometers of it. Wow. You're not allowed to fly around any built-up area, which technically could be like two houses and a barn could count as a built-up area. <laughs> yeah. You're not allowed to fly in any parks in Canada without a permit, and you're not allowed to fly over any animals. So nobody even knows if that means a skunk, a squirrel, a bug. There's nothing. It just says literally animals. That's hilarious. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds so, like laws in place to kind of shut that down. Yep. Yeah. And it's five thousand dollars a fine for personal and twenty five thousand dollars for commercial. Oh, that's incredible! Wow. That... And I mean, not to brag us up, but I think we have some really beautiful scenery, and I think it's such a waste that so much of it's being hurt. You know? Yeah. They could, there's laws, but they are they always seem to go so far with them instead of finding a happy medium. Yeah, it's a pendulum, right? Yeah. Things have to swing too far one way, and then someone get too get frustrated with it. And, and... And actually commit themselves, commit enough time and effort to change it. Yep, that's true. It always goes that way. It's a sad case of affairs, but it's just the you know the status quo. 
but hopefully they'll change them soon. We were considering of getting a drone for our uh, business because we yeah. do uh, weddings, uh, and um, but it's just not worth it with the insurance no. and all the possible fines, and you have to have uh, two pilots, so to say, in order to even like she's uh, got to be trained it. in it as well in case I become incapacitated. She can take over. I mean, we're yeah. talking a piece of plastic, <laughs> like a, not yeah. flying a plane. like a major airline. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. So, yeah. and that's why Andrew cho uh, chose to uh, get a steady cam with the Z axis. Th that's what he uses in making his videos. If, if you watched any of our cinematic videos, which kind of creates a, a little bit alike, uh, oh, a little bit of a like uh, effect, uh, yeah. but it doesn't require that's the what license. I shoot with you. That's made by DJI. Okay. And that's the camera off the Inspire, the more like the four thousand dollar drone, but it's mounted on a stick. <laughs> oh my goodness! And it is the actual camera from the like it's not modified, so you put the microchip in here as if it was the drone, and you control it with your cell phone here. Well, and then, cool. and then you add this piece into it. This is the Z axis. You just take the top off, put the top on here, and this goes in the base. And then when you're walking, it's got bounce into it. So that's your steady cam for movement. And for somebody yeah. like uh, Kathy, for example, you guys are vlogging a lot. There is a uh, like a uh, a bit different version where you only attach your phone. Like yeah. you have everything except for the camera. Instead of that, you use your phone's camera and uh, you use it for vlogging or taking videos. And yeah. the difference is it's much more smoother than just holding your phone. Yeah, I don't know if anyone can see. Like, and, see, there's the yeah. controls so you can move it like left, right, up, down, stuff like that, as well with the cell phone. It's basically, it's basically all of this, get rid of this, and there will be a bracket for a cell phone here mounted on the gimbal. Yeah. Okay. And it's considerably cheaper, like than to upgrade a camera, for example. You know, so I if somebody's like 200, looking, I think yeah. it's two hundred bucks in the U.S. or something. So like if somebody's that. looking for an upgrade, it's definitely it's better something like that than a new camera. So mm -hmm. just we are not associated, <laughs> no plugins. <laughs> we just excited yeah. to have it. We're <laughs> not, not affiliated in any way with DJI or their affiliates. <laughs> uh, we have a, a special uh, high from T Frog. Uh, who had to dry hands while washing dishes, I guess, to say special hi from a former in Illinois resident. They lived in Columbia, Illinois for a while. And then there is a question for about power from Bottle Caps. Bottle Caps is asking, uh, can a solar flare mess things up? <laughs> and a what? Theoretically. Can I didn't hear the question. A can flare. a solar flare mess things up sure. in a power grid? Yeah, electromagnetic radiation, but um, since there has been very few incidents where that's caused us much problems, um, I don't think it's too much of a, of a threat to us. So, But someone said they were from Columbia, Illinois. We actually lived um, about nine, ten miles from there, Kathy and I who's, did, for three years. Who's from Columbia? Um, T-Throg. Okay. Yeah, we lived in Waterloo, Illinois, which is about ten miles south of that for three years. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, they, have, they live there. They don't live there right now, but that's why they wanted to say a special hi. So, <laughs> well, guys, while, while I still have you both of you, and my favorite question of all the, for the couples that come in here, how did you guys meet? Oh, that's a great story. <laughs> I want to hear it. You Are you sure? <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> I don't know if I want him to tell it. Oh, that's awesome. Well, that's where the potato sack comes in. So the squeeze and squeeze and everything. <laughs> um, you know what brought us together? Her sister. <laughs> Her sister. Yeah. There's a thing we they would cruise in our town. Have you ever heard of cruising? No. Everybody would just cruising drive. Cruising Main Street. Yeah, you know, drive up oh, and down okay. Main Street. Okay. And. Um, one night I was with my friend and I was in the passenger seat. He stopped and talked to some girl. Well, in the other seat was another girl in the other passenger seat. We just kind of kept glancing at each other, trying to get a look at each other. Okay. So after he stopped talking to her and we pulled forward, I said, Hey, who was in this? Who was in the other car? The, the passenger. Mm -hmm. He said, well, it's Kathy Meyer. So I said, okay, Kathy Meyer. So the next you night, I shouldn't say my last name on the Oh, it's internet. okay. Well, Kathy, it doesn't. It's not your name now. So, but nonetheless, um, I started looking. Dead yeah. <laughs> I started looking through the phone book to try to find this person, and it, and it was very difficult because it, there was no like Google yes. then, right? No internet. Nowadays and, it would be easier, yeah. Right. So I eventually got a hold of this um, Kathy person, and. 
she had no idea who I was. She didn't remember you. Well, no, because I didn't know him. Because oh. I was I was <laughs> talking to her sister Karen. My my buddy thought her name was Kathy. Oh my I god, Kathy! And I talked for like about five minutes, and then she says, "I don't understand. I don't know who you are. Why are you calling me?" And I'm like, "What do you mean you don't know who I am? I just saw you last night." Anyway, so I hung up the phone go and said that said to myself that didn't go very well. Yeah. He hung up the phone and and said to her sister Karen, "Hey, do you know some guy named Chris?" Um, and she and her sister goes, "Yeah. Why is he calling you?" <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> that was our, actually our first introduction, but we um, we actually met at a workout gym about two years after that. So you didn't get in touch uh, like with each other for two years after this. Yeah, I wasn't calling that number again. Uh -huh. <laughs> My God! So, how did you got back after then? Is it destiny then? You know, it could have just ended right there. Yeah, I mean, we we basically actually that's kind of funny too, because I was uh, at that time I was dating her friend. Oh no! So yeah. sorry, guys, to interrupt. I just brought somebody who wants who's a big fan of your daughter's slime videos. I know. Sorry, and books too. And books I too. Oh. Like this, and I'm crying. <laughs> Hi. Hi, Tracy. Jesse. Jesse, Jesse. look at me. I'm a fly like a dad. No, no, you're not flying. I'm not picking you up like that all the time. Daddy's back can't take it. <laughs> oh, did you, you want to? Do you want? You want to tell Jesse that you liked her slime videos? Yeah. We'll say I liked your slime videos. I like your slime videos. I'm <laughs> like a Okay, go, 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 go. Oh, yeah, yeah, go to the bathroom then. Sorry about that. Say bye. 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 This is a fast run. <laughs> oh. Like you said, real life. I heard my daughter and it sounded like something was going on, so I went to make sure before. Oh. Well, to update you, we were on the question about how they met. I knew the moment I left, you were going into relationships. So I knew I was just wishing them my best luck, and I so was sorry are, I wasn't here to help you. We are now at the point where you are dating uh, uh, Kathy's friend. That's right. Okay. And then a friend of mine actually was liked Kathy, but he was very shy and afraid to ask her. So I arranged a double date. Ah. Oh. And then during this double date, we, she talks. Kathy and I are both talkers. They were both non-talkers, so essentially, we I spent my time turning around, looking <laughs> in the back seat, and talking to Kathy. So that was kind of awkward. Did you know that it's the same girl from the two years before? Oh no! Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We're, we're both from the same town. Actually, when we finally met, he, you should tell them you wanted to marry someone. Oh yeah, yeah, right. With character, <laughs> and so he looked me up and and decided to, oh, that to call me oh, yeah. up. Oh, absolutely. And okay. you're, jumping, I, you're jumping so far ahead in the story. But that I was how we truly met. I mean, when he was ready to nah, settle down and yeah. marry, he told me that he was he he decided, okay, I'm going to find a girl that I really want to settle down with, and I'm the person that came to his mind. So he, wow, wow, he searched me out and found me, and what? the rest is history. That night we met up and. We never dated another person after that. Right? There you go. There you go. That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can feel her fluttering when she asks these questions. She's well, so excited. I, love the story. I know. It's I can so feel the romantic. energy. It is. I agree. It's I, have so done I know. Hey, Twenty-five years has not been all rosy. Let me tell you. <laughs> well, <laughs> that's real life. <laughs> we've, been at least married, we've been married ten years happily, at least. <laughs> <laughs> We have been happily engrossed and blushing in love the last five. Oh, right. isn't that amazing? Right? Right. I really agree. Right. <laughs> Either were the first five. On the knee. <laughs> I know that one. The first the five and the last five. five. See, 10 years. <laughs> He's one step away from potato sack. I can see. Yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> Kat already called yeah. a couple of times. So. Doesn't seem that when you were out of the room, I was like, potato sack, potato sack. <laughs> you guys really compliment each other. I like, and it's nice to see couples like that. You can really see that you guys kind of make it work 
it's not it's, nothing's perfect in life but you guys do have a good balance between you and i believe the yin yang effect in in everybody like that and i think that's what makes a good marriage <laughs> 25 years of practice <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> That's a very good answer. I was asking yesterday, there's a saying out a couple, um, because they, they seem so sweet and, and, and so yeah. in love with each other. Uh, and you just said that you're in love for the, at least the last five years too. Um, <laughs> how, how do you, how do you stay in love, not just love each other for such a long time? Because in love and love is two different things or emotions, how to stay in love. Hey, they went away. They did go away. What happened? Are we all? Good thing we don't have to answer that question. Hopefully we're not. <laughs> what happened? You better press, why don't you press the thing? What does it say? <laughs> if you can Waiting hear for us. people to join this video call. Share the permanent link. Bookmark <laughs> and come back oh, again. I, I see the part. I don't know what happened. Well, you better try to do it again. What do I do? I don't know. <laughs> You're the expert. Waiting for people Start to over. join this video call. See if it comes back on. <laughs> they were we there? Yeah. Hey, yeah. It it's only took us 45 minutes, 45 seconds. Could you hear us during that time? Not a bit. No, that, that, that's been happening again. We had that trouble with YouTube last week, a couple of channels, and it started again last night. So it might do that once in a while, cycle us, unfortunately. Well, you know, we I answered the question while we were gone. I mean, <laughs> No, no, you got to remember. <laughs> we go to a good church. That's how we keep it going. <laughs> okay. Honestly, it's they. Our pastor is is um, I guess part motivational speaker and part pastor. Okay, good. that's amazing. He's always on us about how you have to uh, know what each other's love language is, but we just lost it again. <laughs> so there's we no. Lost. <laughs> You, you got to keep pressing the button. Looks like. Oh. Is that what you pressed last time? No, I didn't. I didn't do anything. anything. I didn't do anything. Well, what would you do? I didn't do anything. Uh oh. Uh oh, there we go again. Are you there? Yeah, I think there's. I think this question is taboo. Yeah, I'm seeing that. I think YouTube's censoring us or something. Right, right. I did say uh, church and things like that. <laughs> oh my God, Almighty. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, we had that problem a couple of times last night. Well, let's try it. We'll, we'll test it. Trump. Trump. <laughs> <laughs> that is so incredible. Yeah, Trump is still on. I can't believe it. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> you, you and I have so much of the same humor. Like, I hear you say stuff, and I'm like, yeah, I would say that. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my gosh. That's awesome. I yeah. know. I think that's why I laugh when you laugh when you when yeah. You I think. <laughs> ah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I'm the reason why you would get mad at your wife at night when she's driving you crazy in bed. So my apologies. Oh, it's. I hear lots of stories. <laughs> <laughs> And it's hard when you're not in the mix of it all the time. Like, you know, I would be the same way. If I wasn't doing this and Xenia was in bed, like, I would be the same as you. Like, stop it. Enough. I can't take this anymore. <laughs> I know. I try to explain to him the jokes I make about yeah. him, but he's like, what are you telling people about me? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Sorry about that. He said he think it's a taboo subject. So that's why YouTube is censored. So he gave it a test and he said, Trump. <laughs> <laughs> That is the one of the night. I love that so much. I am so really thrilled that Chris is joining me because I've been trying to explain to him YouTube and live streaming, and he's been so against it and so fighting it. And I told him, like, it's they you comp I, he compliments me. He I yeah. meet him by me, and he doesn't get that. <laughs> but I think he's getting it tonight. And but I'm like him, like once again, if if I was not doing it, because women, you know what it comes down to, women like to share, and men are always don't like, you know, we're not so open about stuff, so we're always okay. Is it too much? What you say, you know, not that we're thinking something really bad's going on. It's more like men kind of just like to keep things the way they are, and that's my home life, you know. And then 
they don't they don't like sharing too much. So I if it was if it was roles reversed, I would probably feel the same way he did. So it yeah. is good you're coming on tonight and getting to see more of it. But I would feel like that at first too, most definitely. Yeah, and obviously we lost Jesse. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen that somewhere around the mid. Your kids just kind of flutter away at certain points like that. <laughs> yeah. You know, the thing I wanted to talk about with Jesse is having a child on social media. Yeah. I had messaged you guys earlier about yeah. that today. Let's do that right now, actually. And I just wanted to say how we we present it. Jesse yeah. is not involved in the comments. She's yeah. not involved in the social media. She's not involved in Twitter. She's not involved in Facebook. She has no idea really what I even share of her right. on, on videos. Um, and she doesn't care. She's not, yeah. she wants to make videos. She wants to be on YouTube. She yeah. wants to create, but I am really the say so. Yeah. Mm -hmm for my 10 year old. Um, exactly. But I have definitely gotten some slack through commenting, through messaging about sharing my daughter and, and having her be on the internet. Really? Well, and I think it's natural. I think there's some parents that fear that, like, what is yeah. this person doing? Why is she throwing her daughter on the internet? And I'm, I'm, and I don't see myself doing that. I'm, I'm encouraging her to be creative and right. her to, be herself and and I want her I want to inspire her to know that that she shouldn't worry about what other people think I want her to be her true self mm -hmm. and I allow her to watch other children on the internet and yeah. I also allow her to um, interact with with other YouTube families but with yeah. my monitoring with Definitely. with do it together yes and um, and when people comment on the videos, I sit with her at night and I read to her and I say, do you have anything you want to say to them about that? And so I will say, if she really wants to say something, I will say, this is Jesse," And I will quote her response to them. Right. But, but really she has, she has no interest in the chatting. She has no interest in, interest in the comments under the videos. Yeah. And when we live stream, she loves to be a part of that. She loves to be on camera. Of course. It's, it's an expression, expressing but I, yourself. But I really censor the chat. I have my settings set to where there cannot be, it, it has to be PG. PG. Of course. Obviously, yeah. yeah. And I, I don't want to allow any inappropriateness. You know, I don't have monitors on our live stream yet. Yeah. Maybe that's something I need to have, have on. But as of now, I have my settings set that it, it, I won't let allow anything inappropriate. So like, yeah, I kind of wanted to address that because I've had some questions. I've never really spoke about it on camera, but I wanted to address that because. Yeah. I think it's important you're addressing it, but also, I mean, I think there's how many parents are so many types of parenting, right? And something uh, that might be okay, let's say with me, might not be okay with somebody else. And the most important thing is that you and your family is okay exactly. with that. Because I find especially internet is such a place where there's always gonna be somebody that is not gonna like something. So, you know, to some people try adjust to that. And I'm I, I'm glad you're voicing what you're just saying that you're doing what what is you think is right for you and yes. for your family. And that's the only right thing there, no matter who or what they comment, I I think. You're keeping control of what's right for your kids. I mean, exactly. you're the being the parent, and that's exactly what I would expect from you. I, I, yeah. I wouldn't expect no less. And if somebody uh, thinks that they, uh, you know, it's not a good idea to share kids on on, on uh, internet, well, that's their decision. Yeah. It's their type of parenting. Ah. You know, exactly. have different opinions about different things. It doesn't mean that you're a bad parent because you have a channel with your daughter. Oh, yeah. and by the way, you're also raising money for her college. So. so many good things about it. There's a family that, that I would love to shout out. I don't know if they're in the chat. I've not been reading the chat, but the Simple Rugged Path, they have a daughter. April is the mom and they have a daughter um, Anaya and Jesse and Anaya have become pen pals. And so oh, they're writing cool. letters, handwritten letters to each other. They've exchanged almost three letters now in the last few months. And oh, it's right. amazing. It yes. is. There's lots of great things come out of it. It's, it's like going to a city. There's great places. There's more unsavory places. 
And I believe that's all we are is the same as we would do if we had our children in that city. The internet is no different. We're just maneuvering them through the, the, the more harder areas so that they get to the better places. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's been great. And, and Chris totally supports us. Yeah. You know, maybe he's, there's times where I, he keeps me accountable. There's times where I'm a little bit too social networky. You know, he, he'll like yell from the room, like, <laughs> yeah, gotta get off the internet, come on. <laughs> and and I'm glad that he does that because I'm like, okay, you're right. I'm like sucked in, like, yeah. get me off slide here. <laughs> We actually took a break from Facebook this winter because a lot of my friends and family were on there. And it, it is negative after a while, you know, and we're always checking. And she started first, and then I did it. And you know what? I felt, a, I got to say, I felt a lot better. Yeah. Uh, because like a weight off your shoulder. I, I almost, um, I feel it sometimes too much time in, in to trying to keep up with it. And like, then I ask myself a question, why? Like, why am I even doing it, right? So now I'm really limiting it to the business and what we're doing uh, you know, around it. Well, yeah, yeah, family connection, but it's more, more. if it wouldn't be for business and this is connected to that too, then I don't think I even would be on. Like I have all the Twitter and Facebook notifications disabled on my phone because I don't want to be constantly checking, you know, what is on there. It just takes so much time, I find. Yeah, but the interaction's been amazing. Uh, for him, for him, he's not too interested in it, but I'm yeah. home a lot, and so I have another channel, and I know that you had asked if I would talk about that. Yes. Yes. But I, I want to meet. I have this channel, which is for myself, for my preschool families and my daughter. She's getting ice out of the refrigerator. Sorry. <laughs> we're families. Remember, we're keeping it real. There, Rick, you heard me say keeping it real. He laughs when I say that because he knows I don't like it. Know that she... Sorry for the noise here. No, no, it's all good. <laughs> you're not even on your <laughs> is, but you're not. She is on the bottom there. Okay. Okay. So... Welcome so back. I I <laughs> I try to adult interact on my other channel because I try to keep this channel family oriented. Right. Right. And, and that's good. That's a smart thing. And this is actually, and that's what I was telling you on a Twitter. This is how I found you initially is uh, when you were posting uh, your your vlogs and uh, about your personal life, especially at the beginning of this year. Uh, that's how I found you, and I was following you, uh, you know, emotionally, so to say, <laughs> with what you were going through. And I didn't even know you have another channel uh, <laughs> for a long time. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's, that's cool. I mean, I think that the the I Am Creator community found my other channel because it was associated as a small channel. Right. This channel was already monetized. <laughs> right. <laughs> So, and, and it's funny because when I found out about the, the small YouTubers unite and all this, I am creator business. I was, I was a small channel. I'm, I don't have many subscribers on that channel, but that's when I was like, Oh wait, I got this other channel that I can totally <laughs> promote. Let me go on that channel. And I wasn't promoting that channel and I still don't really want to promote it. Right. But I now I now I do because Jesse's become yeah. a freak and wanting to promote it. But I was using my other small channel for therapy. Oh. Yes, right. I mean, I I needed okay. to talk. <laughs> I love these. You guys are so much like us. Xenia would be sitting the same way she is. I would be looking like him, and she'd be like, "Right." And I'm like, "Why not? When in Rome?" <laughs> but I know you have considered do, uh, making it private for a little bit. You were considering. Well, I did because I started getting to know all these channels that are trying to build their channels. And I was getting people to come to me to build the channel. And I was thinking to myself, wait a minute, I don't want to build this channel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's too private. Okay. Too yeah. Private. Yeah. Um, I'm hearing an echo. Echo. Yeah. It, sometimes it happens. I don't know really why. We're, I think it's the YouTube grow. There seems to be another glitch going on with the live streams. Yeah. I think that's what's causing it. Cause you guys have your thing muted, right? Yeah. Yes. Yep. Yeah. So that shouldn't, that's, there's pretty much all you can do really. Yeah. So, and he knows, he doesn't really watch my vlog channel. Do you? I watch your like instead. Yeah. 
<laughs> well, she takes a video when you're in the hospital and such. I thought it was so sweet. My God. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, he does that for me. He does that. If I ask him to, he will. But my vlog channel was more for me. Like I said, I should pay YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say that too loud. They will start doing yeah. it. Well, I, will never, I, will, I will totally never monetize that channel. I mean, it is such therapy for me. I yeah. I needed to talk when someone would listen. And in true life, there is no one really ever there who needs to listen when you need them to listen. Yes. And And I don't expect them to. I don't even expect my husband to. There are times I was where, at work. <laughs> yeah. I mean, there are times where I'm like, oh, I need you right now. And he can't be there for me. And so I found therapy through vlogging. Right. And I thought, I can't do this on my preschool channel. I've got preschool. <laughs> <laughs> so I started vlogging and I try not to promote it because I'm pretty vulnerable on that channel. <laughs> And it's not for kids. No. No, but you still decided to leave it public. And that's what the, my question was. Like, how did you, how, how. What weird, brought you to the moment? Yeah, because I know you struggle with thinking about putting it private, but then uh, you still left it public. Like, how, how did you decide that, you know, it's okay. That's who I am. I'm, I'm trusting God. I want to give him glory. And I feel like if there really truly is someone that needs to see what I'm going through, then he will guide them to that channel and he will use me to go with whatever they're going through. And that's all right. And that's what I, I was wondering too, because I think lots of people uh, who was watching your channel, uh, your, your vlog found like, um, understanding of uh, some of them who were going themselves through that, uh, some of them who had maybe relatives going through that. It yeah. was just so emotional, as you said, and very raw, but in that way it really helped, I think, other people as well, not just you to gain the therapeutic value from it, but people who I, were I, watching you. I'm drawn to vulnerability. I'm drawn to live streams where someone is being vulnerable. I, It's a scary world out there, the internet is. It really yeah. is. And I, I'm really trusting God. There are times where God even says to me, you need to talk about this because right. I got somebody who needs to hear it. And I say to God, uh -uh, I got no makeup on in the mind. So forget it. And there are times where I've told Chris, I'm like, I made a video today, but there is no way I'm sharing that. I look awful in it. Right. <laughs> well, yeah. But, There's but, times where I go ahead and share it and I take, I, I mean, I take the heat from it and he knows it. And then I feel for him because he hears about it later at night because <laughs> then I get vain and I'm like, somebody said something terrible about me. Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, I just, I got to go with faith. I got to go with everybody goes through it. Everybody has wrinkles. Everybody has bad hair days everybody has fat rolls and yeah. you just gotta be real sometimes and let other people see that because otherwise if people don't talk about it then they're not ever gonna know it so i try to put myself out there and be real on that channel and that's why i left it public Mm -hmm. I was brought up with the fact, like, my mother had a Scottish roots, and it's a lot of that, like, quiet reserve, like, you know, not talking about things outside the home. Not that she was snobbish. She's a very warm person. But that was just kind of the general demeanor. Mm -hmm. And I've seen people that take it to the next step where they try to make everything perfect, you know? Oh, we're the happy family, and oh, little Bobby's... They're the people with the biggest problems going because they're always compensating for something. And really, in a way, they're almost no better shape than the person that's drinking because they're trying to hide something or uh, or drugs or everything it's it's just another crutch it's just another way of coming out and another crippling effect that keeps you from actually living a decent life by trying to hide behind it that's just my opinion yeah, yeah. And, and that's why like on my vlog channel I've, I've asked them like can we please blog this can mm -hmm. we be real and and a yeah. lot of like even my, my oldest son tonight, he was watching a movie in the back and I'm like, just please stay. We're going to be live in one minute. Please yeah. stay. 
I don't need anybody seeing me or wanting to know who I am. And I'm like, but, but come on, they need to see us real. And you know, he was like, I'm out of here. <laughs> well, I, I even seen Chris's eyes and like on the other side too, like we're saying, well, go, well, man, it's also too, it's a balance between being open and not becoming like, then we see the other side of YouTube where people become like absolute uh, open books, almost like, shocking for the sake of shocking you know like there it's just normal well it's different if it's, it's real it's, it's like anything, yeah. reality but when it's played on for the value of yeah the shop. but i mean there's also we we're also well brought up enough people to know when there's enough to share and when it's time to pull back a little bit and that's what i think you've been talking about all along with your daughter and the way you do your blog is you walk that line between being more open than pretending everything's great but also not being too open to kind of flaunt the mess you know yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, I've, I've, I've had times where I've wanted to share other things going on with Chris and I. Like, we've even had marriage troubles, and I'm like, can we blog this? And he's like, no. But you see, that's what I am struggling. For example, because even before we, uh, before we started these lives, I think both of us uh, saw that we would never do anything like that. And I yeah. definitely, like, I was thinking about that on Instagram because people were starting to do these uh, live Instagram stories, and I'm like, well. I guess I should kind of show more of the, you know, human side of our business. But I kind of, and I think I still am in a way struggling of doing the vlog part of it. Like lives are kind of starting to get more okay. But yeah. the vlogging, like, I, I don't know, like how to, how know how far to go or how much is okay. Uh, you know, mm. I, I think I haven't drawn that line in my head yet to be ready to do that. Well, I'll help. I, sometimes... I will help you on that one. No, but that's why I'm not doing it at all because <laughs> I, I'm not. That's where a lot of Chris and Andrew starts to shine. I can see. And it's not about the family or marriage. It's just in general. That's yeah. why I'm not doing it because I'm yeah. not, I don't like sharing those things, yeah. you know. So how do you do blog without, you know. So I'm just, I think I'm just struggling with the concept itself. So when I see somebody like you sharing draw you when you were going through your struggle especially at the beginning of the year I, I i sometimes wonder do you have those struggles too and and I thank you for the answer it's just no oh, definitely i do i mean my 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 own sister is is my worst enemy she's my truest friend too like she'll say what in the world are you doing <laughs> <laughs> you know, she'll call me up like why why are you telling these people this <laughs> <laughs> have you ever wanted to pull the video down after you posted it? Oh, I've, I've pulled several videos down. Yeah. I've, I've made several videos private. And 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 I got to tell you that, that even the videos I've made private, I know that I have touched someone. Mm -hmm. But I've made them private because they've also hurt personal people in my life because yeah. they're not ready to share. Yeah. And, and that's okay too, because I, I feel like, okay, God used it for a reason. And now it's, it's, it's not giving him glory anymore. So there's no reason for it. So I've, I've made it private or I've deleted it. I, I remember in the early, well, the mid two thousands, when I worked for the music company, the big talk radio station here in Montreal, uh, CJD 800, they had this one woman that did the like 12 to two show. And her boys were by then like maybe like 16 and then she was on say till they went to their second year of college or sage up they call it here i never had so much pity for two boys in my entire life and her husband she, when you're talking about opening things up to her like she i remember one time she did an hour-long show about if guys should sit down on the toilet or stand up and she brought how one son does it the other one doesn't and the father's still trying to decide and i'm like I would divorce her before I even got home. I'd have a lawyer waiting at the door. Like, you know, and and she made a career out of it for five years of just discussing the oh. kids' lives in such detail. And it's like, is there not a producer in there that's saying, hey, lady, you're going a little far here? Like, imagine those kids in school. Oh, I heard your mom. Uh, hey, are you sitting on the toilet still? You know, like, I would be. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, I get that. You know, I, I shared a lot of. Well, my, our oldest, when he was 18, and 18 yeah. is a very struggling life, I shared yeah. things, and it, it bit me in the ass. <laughs> I mean, I, I was like, okay, I think I shared too much. And and he said, you you can't share my life. And I'm like, yeah. but, other eight, but other mothers are going through the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> you know? But it was, it was, 
his life, not my life. And yeah, but it's hard because it intertwines because you're it's your part of dealing with his life. I understand that completely. But boys, especially at that age, do not like much get notes, so they're pretty defensive at the best of times. Yeah, and, it, and it even caused for some of us. He's like, stop, stop being so personal, you know. And I'm like, but it's but it's my life too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like Journey with David, uh, so was saying that I'm glad I didn't have the internet growing up. And and, I, and in, in a way, I agree. And not yeah. because of oh, our personal I'm lives, so but it's more, I, I still wonder how it's going to affect our kids in the long term. Because yeah. they have lived like all their life with internet and everything was going on and them being out there, you know. And, and that's why, again, it intertwines with the struggles that I was talking about, about vlogging. Well, maybe now it's okay, but you know, 20 years down the road, it's not going to be okay in their life, you know? Oh, and that, that's totally true. And my, my 24 year old today can attest to that because I've been online since he was 18. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's a big reason why he's not on camera tonight. I mean, he came home a few months ago and he met a girl at college and she's a student teacher. Mm -hmm. and and she knew of my channel because a lot of student teachers use my preschool channel to interview uh -huh. and to um, train student teachers how to storytell. Wow. And he's at college and he's talking about his life. And he's like, hey, you know, my mom YouTubes. And she's like, oh, really? What's her channel? And she knew me. <laughs> and so, uh -huh. But honestly, it was like the end of that. You're like, oh, you know, my mom like did it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, that's it. It's over. Yeah, yeah. It lights out. Done. She's not the one, mom. She's not yeah. the one. <laughs> yeah, and I'm like, well, that poor girl. Like, she could really met an awesome guy, but you're just like cutting her off because she's awesome mom on YouTube. Mm. Well, that's yeah, so well, and, and that's what I'm talking yeah. about. You never know, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh. I was going to tell you, Wago, you were talking about monitoring your child, and we do with Audrey, and for instance, she's the youngest, and she was on her tablet, and she was one of those safe zone game things, which we thought, you know, there's like 10 games for her. She was what? Four or five at the yeah, time. Yeah, I think it was five. And we were around her, but you know, Xenia's cooking. I just happened to watch in the kitchen, and like I walked in twice before, she was playing like uh, hide the gumdrops, you know, that type of stuff. <laughs> I walk in the next time, and it's a game the same style and everything. Cartoonish could be how to put together a handgun. And she's sitting there putting the clip inside the stock, and she's all excited. And numbers are going for points. And I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> you know when a father's stumbling for everywhere? You look like you're 80 all of a sudden. You can't control anything. And she's like, ding, 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 and the clip is going inside. And I'm like, where did this come from? My daughter's yeah, joined the Crips. You know? I asked my 24 year old would encourage that for our 10 year old because he's in the military and he's an infantryman. And he'd be like, Yeah, Jesse needs to learn this. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to hook him up with a great game. And for the record, I'm a gun owner with my father. I'm 100, so it's not. In I was just more mortified how a game like that could end up in such a channel. Yeah, you know? it's supposed like, to be a kid's friendly yeah, yeah. page. And yeah. Yeah, she was as happy as could be. She was having the time of her life. You know, she was. Well, on her way to robbing a bank, I think that was the next game if you won that level. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the USA. Yeah. <laughs> I love the States. I want to take Xenia more. We were living in Saskatchewan before over above North Dakota. I drove truck in the oil fields out there hauling oil. Because when Xenia immigrated to Canada, every province here has their own uh, quotas each year for what type of uh, immigrants can come in. So many for work, so many family. And even though she had three languages and a master's in Quebec, because she didn't speak French, she went to the back of the list. Oh, yeah. So it would have taken approximately three years or so where we went to Saskatchewan in 11 months, she had her full, uh, 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 not citizenship, uh, no, permanent residency. Permanent yeah. residency. Okay. That's where we had our daughter. And we went to the States one time because she had never been. She was five months pregnant. We went into North Dakota and we went through one border crossing. It was great. But when we came back up through Minot, there was no trouble with the U.S., but when we got into Canada, they looked at her papers. She was here as a visitor visa, but we had applied for permanent residency. They hauled in our car. They questioned us for four hours. They had us separated. They had dogs in the cars. 
I, it ends up as a training post. We didn't know. Oh, no. We were one question away from Herb and Chris being put on a plane that night in Minot back to Latvia. Yeah. They wouldn't even allow me to take any possessions or anything. That was so scary. They were holding us in two separate rooms, interrogating us for three hours, like to make yeah. sure that we have similar stories. And the only way we got through is because we told the truth. Told the truth. Uh, you know, and that's what she said. That's the only thing that saved us. Although the truth wasn't the best, uh, yeah. uh, how we were doing it. She said that's the only way why we uh, why they didn't send us away. So. And she was five months pregnant, um, so she would have left right there. And you're yeah. you have to wait five years after that to apply to come back yeah. again. That's really scary. It's, it's yeah. terrifying. It here. was terrifying. Three hours interrogation yeah. room, like real interrogation rooms, like you see in, on TV. You know, yeah. no windows, nothing. <laughs> Just a cop there. <laughs> Well, see, we haven't built a wall on the northern border. <laughs> no, we're, <laughs> we're trying to behave ourselves so we don't get any time. <laughs> no, I had we're, one friend. We're I, a pretty rough country, Canada, so you got to keep an eye on us. You know, we're quite the troublemakers. That's exactly. That's exactly I've heard a lot. <laughs> no, they, we had one guy that got three times they pulled him in. We waited for an hour for him oh. to get him into Canada to go to Burlington, Canada, just for a business trip. It was ridiculous. But the it same is. guy, he, just, he was like, what is it with me? I, what am I doing wrong? Yes. You know, like, and it's sometimes you're just like click on a list, you know, and it's awful that way. It, it, you know, it's too bad this is happening because when we were just a couple of years ago, you could use your license and go through borders. You never needed a passport. Well, the birth certificate you were saying. Birth certificate, you're... yeah. I flew in for a big music conference in LA. I lost my passport on the 21st of January, first time I ever lost a passport in my life. The, remember the no no passport no fly law right. that was the 23rd of january and i lost mine the 21st <laughs> i had to fly like a bandit in the night i had to lie through my teeth with a photocopy of my birth certificate saying air canada gave me clearance to do so and the guy's looking at me, he goes i don't think so and i said well you guys told me my wife had to run my first wife had to run in the middle of the night and send it i'm good you've got to let me out and they finally let me go with like a window of two hours to get out of the country before that happened Oh, that's, I would have had to taken a train. I would have taken a train to Vancouver, like a thirty-hour train ride, otherwise, and then flew home. So uh -huh. I don't know if I can survive that. I've been crying. <laughs> it all makes you tougher, I guess. But yeah, I was a nervous wreck. <laughs> <laughs> and I, they flew me. I had to fly the red eye three times in one night. Oh, sorry, just sorry. the last part of that. Thanks. And I ended up having to go at one point through Calgary, and that's where I crossed into Canada. And the guy knows what's happening, and he's looking at my papers for 10 minutes, and I'm sweating bullets by then. <laughs> and he finally says, all right, welcome back to Canada, and he stamped it. And I walk through, and I'm standing there, and he goes, that Canadian flag, I bet you want to hug that right now, don't you? <laughs> is, I, you know what? I, I mean, you could, um, I would just wow. say at that point, I subject myself to a strip search. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, got everything else to me. Let's just <laughs> call it the can icing on the cake. <laughs> it's so ridiculous that you know they, you don't really fit the profile. You know, no, someone that's going there to do damage. Exactly. Yeah. And that's I have one bag with me. Search it, smell it, test it, and be done with me. It's ridiculous. It's just, uh, but of course they don't want to. Um, we can't profile anybody, right? That's right. So that means so it means that um, every let's say 10th guy that looks like you. Yep. We got to give him a hard time. That's right. Yeah. You're hundred percent right. You're not joking. That's a hundred percent right. I agree with you a hundred percent on that. It's true. It's so sad how it changed the dynamic of what we had, you know? Right. Right. That freedom. I hate, it's not States. It's not Canada. It's the freedom between us. I hate to see, cause that hits into everything else that we have. I never wanted them to win for something so cowardly. Yeah. I agree. 100%. You know, yeah. We're, I'm glad that we're a continent away from what's going over, going on and over in Europe. Yep. Um, yeah. Basically, in the Middle East, I mean, it, there's just so many bad things happening there. It, it is. It's a sad, sad thing. It's a sad state of the world right now, you know? Yeah, like we were talking uh, last week about traveling, and I think Cabal Caps was asking about, well, is it safe to go to Europe? You know, and living there when, when I was, uh, I would have never thought of this question. <laughs> right. Like, you know, it was always safe that nothing was going on. If anything, 
States was the one that was stuff always going on, yeah. but, you know, yeah. but now, uh, you know, lots of people ask this question and it just kind of turned the other way or around. Or even I yourself, think. like we talked about going back to Latvia and you're like, well, I don't want to go through London right now. You know, Yeah, especially like a couple of years ago. Yeah, two years ago or so, I wouldn't go with the kids because it's a different responsibility with the yeah. kids if something happens. Uh, ourselves, I mean, I don't really believe in fear, uh, you know, uh, yeah. doing not doing something because of fear, but traveling with kids then it's a bit different of course mm. definitely but it's a, it's as safe or as dangerous anywhere mm. i really think it's just sometimes yeah. <laughs> look out <laughs> i always tease my mother when we're in latvia with the kids because we're right against the russian border at one point so i always take pictures like until take we're on our way home. over we yeah need to our city. i mean we can't what's, eat. yeah what's that we live in a near a very dangerous city. I mean, I, I had the same conversation with him Monday. Jesse had a field trip to St. Downtown St. Louis. And I was like, I mean, do we do I, do I park? I mean, we have to go to the courthouse and they're touring the arch and then we're going to the riverboat cruise cruise. And I mean, I feared the same thing. I'm like, well, do I ride the bus with her? <laughs> do I? <laughs> and meet her there and that's a very good point though you're yeah. right about that you know the same concerns are even within our locals as well you know mm -hmm. well there's a four block area in st louis that's um that's the most is basically classified as one of the most dangerous places on earth really oh wow i knew there was some i knew some stuff but i didn't realize that in town like chicago has a pretty large area that you know is as yes as anywhere on earth so well when I used to be a truck driver years ago, you know, everybody says, oh, you got to see Chicago. Yeah, I got to see the worst parts every time. Oh, no. Nobody wants to live beside a meat market or a port. So I've seen every bad part in 40 states doing that, you know? <laughs> yep. There's it's a... not the scenic side. I didn't get to go see the arch. I got to go see the place where you lock your doors when you drive through it two in the morning, you know? Yeah. Yep. What if I, I do look the states. I chat tonight, Danya. What what have you missed? I'm told I don't know anything going on in the chat. Well, uh, there's lots of highs from all uh, everybody new coming in. You. Yeah, everybody new coming in. I'm very excited to see you both on. Yes. <laughs> I think it is a great surprise. You're like the royalty couple of the night. I swear. <laughs> yes. Uh, so that that's a lot of that and. Uh, also, there was some comments about internet when we were talking about like the t uh, uh, the uh, person from Illinois. I was also saying that it's good to teach your child at a young age about the internet and be able to show them how to use it in a positive way. Nothing wrong with that. She's doing it because she's doing it the right way. Talking about Jesse. Oh, I'm glad to hear that. Yeah. I agree to that too. And uh, ATH Travels was uh, adding to that that internet is great, but I feel has taken away the art of one on one conversation and kids don't even learn handwriting anymore. Um, yeah, I, I agree. So I, I was so surprised uh, hearing you talking about uh, pen pals. We used to do that at school, you know, I had a pen yeah, pal I'm somewhere. I'm happy that she's doing that because, she, like, she even wanted to type her last letter and and I went ahead and let her because she's also learning keyboard but I said you know the whole port the whole purpose of this is that you're writing <laughs> yes and, <laughs> and it's amazing because and she it's actually learns cursive her her school still teaches cursive and I'm glad yeah. because her grandmother writes my mom still writes letters to my boys oh that's oh, and, and and on paper that's not does not have lines and it's fun to to hear my my own boys and my nephews, they wanted to give my mom notebook paper because I'm like, Grandma, you know there is paper that has lines on it? <laughs> <laughs> it's called stationary. You know, not supposed yeah. to use lines. And she writes in cursive to the boys. Yeah. And I want them to be able to cherish that. And I want Jesse to understand that her grandma is going to write cursive in her to be able to read it and I want her to be able to read my journal someday because I've yeah. been I've been journalizing since I was 13 and I hope that I don't I don't know if my boys will ever care about my journals but I'm kind of hoping my daughter will yes because even I have four older brothers and I've already put a claim on my mom's journals because my brothers could care less about them I mean <laughs> and they're they're older than me already and Although their wives sort of competed, competed with me, like, no, 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 I want them. And I'm like, I'm the daughter. Sorry, I'm yeah. gay. Right. <laughs> they're, they're in cursive, and I'm like, I want, 
I, I like Anne Frank's diary. Like, come on, we all have to be able to read people's past. I am totally into that. So I oh, want my yeah. daughter to know cursive. I want her to be able to read that. Yes, and I agree. It's so much more value somehow to it. Like uh, uh, when my mother passed away, uh, I found uh, my mother's and my father's handwritten letters to each other uh, yeah. when they were dating because they lived in two different cities, uh, you know, 400 kilometers apart. So they were writing each other poems and all love letters. And uh, so when my mother passed away a couple of years ago, I found it all, you know, nice, neatly put together with a bow on top. And I thought how, you know, it was it's such a value different than if I would have found it on the email. It still would be nice, but it's right. just touching the same paper that they did, you know, the, the same handwriting. It, it, it just was a completely different experience of, of, of having to be able to hold the same things that yeah. they were once, right? So uh, I, and, I, and they won't understand that until they're at a certain age. I mean, I think yeah. he understands that. And I'm thinking my 24 year old is beginning to understand it. Yes. Like even now, like the, the things that I could have vlogged about between his years of 18 and 24, I knew when he was 18 that he would not even comprehend the things that I I loved about him until he reached 24. Like being a male, like that the brain of a 24 year old male doesn't even click until they're at that age where to be able to comprehend the different things that might go on in life and to be able to appreciate really different things in life. Um, yeah. Just my firstborn is just now maybe even grasping that, you know, yeah. and, and I, and I want to forgive him and, and have mercy for that and to understand that and just know that I can be patient and wait for all the other children to get to that age and to just come mm -hmm. to that realization and know that, you know, it's, it's okay. They're, they'll get there. Rick, yeah. The time Rick comes. Says, exactly. Rick says your boys will care. I do now. Oh uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm. And, and I know that. I mean, there were, there were times where, you know, even just five years ago, I remember crying to him like, Oh, they don't love me. And they don't know. And they don't understand. But I mean, I'm, I'm slowly getting there. I mean, I'm just now getting to that point where I know, He's going to get it. And, he, yeah. and, and I know I'm a good mom and I know he's going to appreciate it. And he's totally going to stand for me and love that. And, and it's, it's, it's rewarding. It is. I mean, uh, look at how many times as parents now, like my oldest son is 20. My youngest is seven. And I see so many days, everything I say is the same thing my father said to me. And you know, at the time <laughs> I wanted to knock his head off <laughs> and I know they're going to do it with their kids. So they said, at least a 20 year old, he understands where so I get to tell him you'll have your day too. So put up with me for now. Like we have an 850 kilometer home, a drive to my parents' house. I'm 44 years old, father of three, truck driver for so many years. And my father drives me crazy to this day. Call me lots. Okay, you're going to be all right there. Let me check your oil. Like, I can do it, Carl. I've done it a trillion times. I've done this road. Oh but I get it. I want to vlog he, his conversations with his dad. Because his dad's 86 and going through a little bit of the onset of dementia. And I'm right. like, it's great vlog material. <laughs> <laughs> channel would fly with the stuff going on with him and his dad but Chris, what do you think about this idea <laughs> oh I, you know what <laughs> i don't want to get involved at all <laughs> i'm i'm not so sure he has dementia i think he's always been this way um <laughs> about, i asked my dad if he was always as, as insane as he is and he he said no it it really started around 40 and i said Okay, well, what happened to 40? He said, well, that's about the time I just didn't give a shit about what <laughs> anybody else thought. <laughs> what he said, he said, and that guy, I'm seriously, lives in his own bubble. I mean, he absolutely cannot, nothing affects him whatsoever. He, he's his own force of nature. And, and that's why he's 86. <laughs> that's exactly right. Well, he, 
He's always. I, had, he's, I totally want to vlog with him though. Yeah, and he's I have, but it's, he's competitive. Like he looks at the obituaries, outlived that person. <laughs> oh, it's terrible. Oh. But, well, nonetheless, he's very cantankerous, and um, we couldn't put him in a nursing home because no one could love him. <laughs> uh, I'll put it there. This is a story when he was fifty years old. He had his three closest friends over for our party. Yeah. And he said, I must have the, the nicest friends in the world. You guys are the nicest guys in the world. There's no one like you guys. Well, finally, the one guy spoke up. He says, well, of course we are, Russ. Who else would be your friend? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my dad. He's a... Anyway, he, I know, I know when he's not feeling good because he's not giving me trouble. That's right. Yeah, hundred percent. I have to be serious and ask him what's wrong and how yeah. can I help him. But if he's causing me up and the first thing he does is give me trouble, then I know everything's fine. I do. I, that's my father's like that. I get him going when he was seven. He had trouble with gout for a while, and one time I think he was about seventy, and he was laying on the couch. He had a really bad boat of it. So I always drive him crazy when I have it. I wake him up and I'm like, "Hi, Carl." It's your son, Andrew. I'm here to see you. I'm not dead. And then he tries to walk and show that he's fine. And my mother's yelling at me, you're going to drive your father to his death. You know, and stuff like that. Yeah. <laughs> and the story about your father reminds me of the father from Everybody Loves Raymond. Yes. Uh, yes. Is there any similarity there? Yeah. <laughs> it's horrible. Yes. It is. It's horribly, strikingly familiar. <laughs> Because I call my mother Marie when she gets on my yes. nerves. That's, what I'm <laughs> That's great. That's yeah. great. He calls me Helen, which is. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, you see, TV imitates uh, life more than we want. Yeah, woman. <laughs> my dad calls my mom woman. <laughs> and he wants to say woman. something about woman. Woman. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, you, you guys are so amazing. <laughs> no, we're not. Really. Uh, we're just real. You, I love it. I absolutely love it. And it, this is the goal of this show is right here. Like, it's so nice after we've gotten to even be on panels together, watch each other's videos, seeing all this stuff. It's so nice to get you know you guys more and get to know Chris and that. This is such a treat. I love it. Well, he's lasted a lot longer than I thought he would. Watch it. I, I didn't want to say it. I'm knocking on wood. <laughs> That's terrible. I'm glad you've enjoyed it because it made me wow. <laughs> <He's so busy. laughs> the only trick she has up her sleeve is she could start calling this a date night. <laughs> yeah, well, I've been, yeah, I get roped into that one. Yeah, I know all about it. <laughs> it's a date for two hours and I wasn't even made aware. <laughs> uh oh. There you go. You know how to fix it. Oh, they're on. You having fun though? No. No. <laughs> you want to go? Um, I got ten more minutes, maybe. <laughs> okay. Oh. Oh. What's the chat saying? Can you read the chat? Wow, Cass, I literally stalked the boys I had crushes on. My journals were full of what size shoe sizes were, favorite food, etc. <laughs> uh oh, I think they're gonna be coming back. <laughs> you always you would always do something too. Oh my god, you sound like my ex-wife. <laughs> <laughs> my ex-wife. That's hilarious. <laughs> We're trying to read the chat. We're like, I hope you guys did well while we were gone. I'm sure you did the channel a pleasure. Yep. Well, we, we were, I finally figured out I that you guys are doing something on us. I asked him if he was having fun, and he said no. <laughs> he said, "I got ten more minutes." <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, we already you've been so generous. I didn't yeah. think you'd be here near this long. Oh, no, no, no. <sighs> But no, but it has been a lot of fun though, and I, I, you guys are a real amazing couple. It's it's really nice to get to know you better. Who have we had in the chat that I can say hello to? Because I feel terrible for ignoring the chat. That's part of my my interaction and my fun on YouTube has been the live streams and yeah. getting to know the chat. And I kind of feel it's different when you're on the other side, and 
you have no idea what's been going on. I mean, I have to give a shout out to Bottle Caps. I hope he's been behaving himself. He's been doing he's pretty been good. He's very good. And Xenia gave him a stern warning before you came on. So. Yeah, I, I, I put them in detention yesterday. Of course. <laughs> I, I like this when they said, though, oh, my God, you sound like my ex-wife. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, he's uh, talking about with uh, down the rabbit hole travel uh, because down the rabbit hole travel was saying that she shredded all her uh, journals before her daughter could uh, put her eyes on them because they were just too embarrassing. Uh, and and uh, yeah, because she was uh, like writing all the shoe sizes for her ex boyfriend's favorite food and so on. So, and that's why Bottle Cap says that she sounded like his ex wife. So, we uh, one out of his four. Four ex-wives, yeah. might I add. Which was divorced eight <laughs> years ago and was married to 21 years. So I don't know where you got four. He said but the other day, he said he's been divorced four times. Well, maybe to the same yeah. one then. No, no. We yeah. PG, PG, I, PG. No, that, this is PG, but he has to see this. I wouldn't feel right. Now, Bottle Caps, Chris, has a crush on one of the girls Make here. Make sure Susie. your kids are away from the screen now. <laughs> and Susie loves to review food. So every time they're on, we have to play... Oh, I can't. Oh, you're lucky. I can't share anything because we're now a guest in our own live stream because of those reshots. Oh no, <laughs> we can't share anything. <laughs> oh, let me share. Okay, so Susie's channel does food reviews, and she opens Oreo. It's kind of erotic, you know. It was. So I, and, and so bottle cap loves Susie's. Videos and he teases her and stuff, and so we kind of. Mm. Oh, you got to show that video after the yeah. press because you got to see it. We're definitely getting you the link. Yeah. Yeah. I would have a good cold glass of water with you before you. So watch yesterday it. they went a little bit too far. I was discussing that for the like tenth time already. So I had to put him and uh, Eric, uh, the driver there, the yeah. drunk driver. I had to put them both in detention oh, yeah. because he was crossing the lines. <laughs> I actually, I actually talked to Chris about this whole. Um, live streaming and chatting and commenting earlier because I had a situation happen in a comment that I made on a fellow creator's YouTube channel and I won't mention any names, but I made a joke that I would have said to my own brother and it was taken out of content mm. and context. context. Thank you. And and I had to, I had to apologize because I made a I made offense to the YouTuber. You made an adult like comment. I made an adult like comment. Right, but but, but I would have said it to my brother. But, but anyway, the 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 problem was the problem was it was it was it was taken wrong. No, it was read by her children. Yes, it was read by her child. Um. And, and I and I was like, oh, I didn't, you know, I only meant it to be silly and funny. I didn't mean it to be inappropriate, but it was taken inappropriate. And I was like, wow, this is like the exact reason I was telling him about it. Mm -hmm. right. And I was like, this is totally why I don't let Jesse read comments or be involved right. in chats or things because, you know, it, it's it can be taken out of context even with an adult. <laughs> Bob Caps, one divorce. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you're not following. He was going Andrew. on the other night. He was going. He on. divorced eight years ago from the wife that he had twenty one years long. So okay. oh, all the long. <laughs> you, know, you know, bottle caps. We can relate to that. Chris and I have had issues in the past where we've, we've been married three times. <laughs> <laughs> Good week. Yeah, I mean, you never give up. <laughs> yeah. Well, I was married before, and that when that went south in a really bad way we'll call it and i was on a video game just to try and keep my sanity together because my son i didn't want to leave and blah 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 and that's when xenia and i had met on a video game we just stayed friends and she was seven thousand kilometers away in latvia well more than friends now we're friends now it's been a long time <laughs> yeah <laughs> when i flew you know, over that's chris and i like he said we've been married three times i think every five years we have to remarry each other and that's why we're so in love now because Right. I agree. Yes. I agree. We, yeah. we, I agree. Each other <laughs> we have to keep reminding each other that we've changed and you know, there's the grass is not greener. I always say you have to water the grass you're on. <laughs> that's right. That's a good that's a good account. Yes. I like that. And yeah. I think that we've learned to we've learned that through marriage counseling and mm -hmm. and, and having struggles and and uh, you know. 
Uh, what you. doesn't kill you makes you stronger. <laughs> 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 that's right well it's work like anything else and i yeah. like uh, like andrew always says uh it's like business and it sounds cold but it's true in a way you know you're still gonna work on it the same yeah. as you would in any other work even more than that because that's your life it's you know? your livelihood it's exactly. your everything you have a lot invested into it. and it's not to take yeah. the love out of marriage no it means the passion that you should be putting yeah. into it yeah i mean for me i know that there's that I've learned that all men are alike and there's yeah. no what? man that's, there really isn't any man that's different than him. I mean, yep. that's the way I, I react to him and I've learned that he better damn well adore me or forget it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Kind of. Yeah. <laughs> I agree. Already, I gotta take the camera for a second. We're gonna send some thoughts and prayers to Chris and let him know we're thinking about him. And we're all here for him. And just uh, let's just what get him. Let's just form, get him through today. <laughs> yeah, he, he truly is a saint. He. Oh, you're a saint. That's right. They all have, all have our times. Oh my God. <laughs> we learn to. We learn that it's okay to hate each other at times, and it's. And it's okay that as long as we trust that we we give mercy to each other. Yeah. Yes, that's right. Exactly. Yeah. You know, life is real, like we were saying at the beginning. You know. Agree. A Saint Otto says, "Sling some fertilizer around every once in a while." Yeah. <laughs> I, I love I love all you guys. I love this. Yeah, yeah, and and for me, like it, I've had to remind myself, I I give. God's my number one. He's my number two. And everyone else is my sister and brother. And, yep. and and unless you know that of me, if I comment on a video or if I say something to someone, a man needs to know I'm treating you like you're my brother, yep. not someone I'm going after or yes. trying to have a relationship. I mean, he he's my relationship. Yeah, <laughs> plain and simple. That's done and said. Everyone done. else. Is just a brother or a sister. Yeah. So, I mean, no harm. No. <laughs> I mean, I'm not after you. I'm not interested in you. One's he, enough. He's the one I'm interested in. And, but we don't. We all don't know that of each other, and you know. Yeah. Of course. I love a down the rabbit hole travel comment. My mom always said the key to happy marriage is a TV in the basement. <laughs> That's where my dad hangs out. <laughs> yeah, and a comfy couch. <laughs> recliner. I got a recliner down there. Uh, uh, uh. Right, yeah. <laughs> expecting each other's sleep like uh, youtube's been a big part of my life the last three months and he definitely he's he got has, a job he's got yeah. a job <laughs> i mean he's gonna get up in the morning and i'm like at midnight like yeah. in bed chatting with you guys and he's like yeah. ah, laughing know? and shaking the bed as you say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah earplugs two pillows and a um Air purifier for what <laughs> you two can survive. Yeah, but you guys, you you guys, and Rick and Brooke, and 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 just there's just been so many that have been live streaming lately that have made it yeah. more fun for me because like I I can get up. I'm I'm a night person, but I can get up with him and I can make a green smoothie and I can get Jesse's lunch packed and get her on the bus and get her out the door. But then sleep for three hours. No, yeah, I don't sleep, but I, mean, I don't have to go anywhere. I'm like, okay, now when Rick Rick from the Corn Life comes on at ten o'clock with his coffee, I'm like, all right, I'm ready. Yeah. I'm ready. The house is empty. I got everybody out the door. I'm ready to sit and chat and have some fun with friends. And I have to remember that he has to actually use his brain at six a.m. <laughs> So I have, I have to re, I have to remind myself of that, and and that and I have to appreciate him when he comes in the door at six o'clock at night to have a plate of food ready for him and to give him attention, and yeah. he's keeping me accountable that at sometimes because like you guys will be live or somebody else will be live. I'm yeah. like my friends are on, like yep. forget it, you know. And, and, and how then, did you enjoy that chicken the other night, by the way? Good, good. <laughs> you know about the stone, right? 
Yeah, I totally did a whole commercial on it. Yep. yep. My Sorry, son was actually asking, what was she using? Today she was asking, he was asking, what was she using the other day? <laughs> I got to ask how it's going. 15 years, 15 years of dry chicken. This stone thing is the greatest <laughs> in your life now, Chris. We're always with you. <laughs> oh, my God. Don't scare him. No, I, you know, I, and I, we had a conversation earlier and I told him, I said, you know, they, these are my friends and I understand you don't want to get to know them. Just like, I don't get to know your pickle balling people. I don't care about yes, it. We, we had a big conversation about, about, that. about that. My yes. God, we know all about it, Chris, by we, the way. We looked it up that night and everything. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. Just yeah, like you had a big discussion about it. he wants me to go play pickleball, and I'm like, no, you talk about those people about me. I don't. I don't want to know them. I don't talk about. <laughs> I play pickleball. She thinks I talk about her all the time. She thinks I've got a one track mind. He should talk about me all the time. <laughs> Jeez. No, but that's interesting. I never heard of the pickleball before. Yeah, like, we were all looking it up online. Like, I remember we were sharing the yeah. page and stuff. Yeah. Like that. yeah. Listen, it's. I promote you. It's, <laughs> it's exercise fun. Yeah. It's exercise fun. Yeah. Exactly. No, not exercise. I mean, running, like running on a treadmill or running. No, on that's treadmill. not fun. No. Yeah, I mean, it's a lot more fun to do something with someone else, right? Team, yeah, for sure. And you do, and it's a lot more fun that you're like distracted that you're getting exercise even. Yeah. Right? I, this is a very social thing because um, there's so many people that, I mean, it's just like YouTube. All right. Yeah. It, it was that great it. before YouTube for me because it caused a problem because I was like, you're never home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm playing pickleball like right. three nights a week. And then no, not three nights now a that week. I have friends on YouTube, I'm like, oh my God, go no, play pickleball. No, 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 I got no. friends now. <laughs> for two days, I play for three hours, two days a week. Yeah. Right. With women, you always take everything they say and divide by half and then take a little off the top and you're good. I, that's been my very, rule. Very that's my, what got me to 44 years old is that math. It makes a lot of sense. <laughs> <laughs> I like this, man. <laughs> we're going to have to move to... So <laughs> now, to returning back to the pickleball, why is it called like that? You know what? Um, I have no idea why it's called pickleball, okay? But apparently someone had a badminton net and it broke. Oh. So the poles broke, so the net was like really low. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. That's so cool. So it made no sense to use their badminton rackets, right? So they went inside and got like a racquetball racket. Right. And then they had like a tennis ball. Well, this thing was flying all over the place. So they finally got a wiffle ball. Hmm. Well, the next thing you know, if you got too close to the net, you could just slam it down, right? right? So they come up with this line to keep you away from the net. And the next thing you know, pickleball was born. That's so cool. Oh, wow. And That's was amazing. It, did it originate in your, like, I'm trying to remember from the webpage, did it originate around you guys' area, like the Midwest more? You no, know what? I'm not sure exactly where it originated. But I know it's U.S. Yeah. It was 1965, allegedly. Oh, so it's still pretty new. Yeah. Yep, 1965. And apparently... It's the fastest growing sport in America. No way. Yep, wow. this, apparently this past this past week they had the national championships in the US down in Florida. Right. Well, there's actually I think people winning a little bit of money, maybe even with this thing. That's but cool. there the tennis was a huge thing in the US in the yeah. eight okay. Um, like seventies and eighties. And uh, a lot of those people um, can't, you know, they're not proficient at tennis anymore but they can still do this sport and they like it and huh. it doesn't it's not as much wear and tear on the body right and, okay. and actually if you can play good ping pong okay you're you'll be a better pickleball player if you're a good ping pong player i think than if you were a tennis player really i, I think it's just giant ping pong that's interesting. <laughs> I, like I say, I want to go look it up more. Like I've seen a basis of it, and I definitely want to go back and look. So, I find that so cool. We have such large countries between Canada and U.S. It's amazing how things differ from one side. Like if you're living in Saskatchewan or Quebec or Missouri or New York and that, I mean, it's completely different worlds. Yeah, you know, if, if something would freeze over down here, maybe I'd learn to play hockey. <laughs> Well, we can give you some. And people don't realize that with Montreal, we were saying this morning, some people were shocked. Montreal can, is a very cold city, and I'm sorry, I'm not going to be able to uh, convert it into Fahrenheit right now because my head's not there. Yeah, that's true. Because you're an engineer. You're a good proficient of it. 
we have plus 40 summers and minus 40 winters. I mean, it's a very extreme. Wow. It covers the whole gamut here. We we had like last year, I think it was 44 or 45 degrees Celsius. Oh, yeah. It was like a week and a half of that. It was yeah. unbearable. And sometimes yeah. in the winter, we can have two weeks like at Christmas. We were gone to my parents, but they never went under minus 37 for two weeks. Yeah, that's wow. Cool. Well, let me ask you this. Yeah. Uh, you, you've lived there your whole life? I'm from Eastern Quebec originally, like across the St. Lawrence Seaway where it comes in. Okay, okay. And then I moved here for my adult years to Montreal. Well, let me, do you feel it's different? Has it changed? Is there climate change there? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Big time. And I mean, like, I'm on the side, you know, like, I'm not, uh, everything is man-made, but it's also part of the world changing, and it's combined of both. I and mean, Ice Age didn't come because man polluted the world, you know. You know I, I, I really but I still believe there is man-made effects yeah. that are harming it. I think it's all kind of maybe playing. Um, my grandfather always, and I truly believe that some of it might be true, that uh, the world's weather or, or, you know, environment goes in a cycles. Uh, of he was saying in cycles of 11 years where it's 11 years of hot 11 years of cold with the uh, peak years of third and fourth year being the coldest or, or the hottest respectively yeah. and uh, i don't know how true exactly he was mm. a scientist so i don't but i don't know how true exactly is the number but i do believe that it goes by cycles because like for example in europe when i was born it was lots of snow and cold uh, mm -hmm. And then when I was growing up, there almost no snow. And now they're getting back the same snow and cold that they had when I was born. So mm -hmm. I, same here in Canada. You know, I think it goes in a cycle, yeah. really. Yep. We have it's the like, La Nina and El Nina. Yes, exactly. Yeah. It's like forest fires. You know, we try to prevent them, but they're so crucial to being able to keep the world sustainable with new seed. The world's got to go through changes in weather cycles and bring up new vegetation, clear out old, you know. The world's very good at cleaning itself up. It doesn't need our help. Right. You know, they, um, it's amazing how the world can fight back. But, you know, I think there is a, you know, a death blow that we can give to the earth. Oh, yeah. For definitely. Sure. You know, and, uh, but, but most of the time we're almost exactly wrong. I mean, yep. the opposite almost, like they went with global warming and they had to change it to climate change. Yes. They have no idea what's going on. That's right. <laughs> I agree with you 100%. We yeah. were talking about that actually a couple of weeks ago. You know, Canada, if things warm up the way it does, it's in a 100 problem. years, wars won't be fought over oil. It'll be more over fresh water because everybody's yeah. going to be moving north, moving north, moving north. It puts us right in the whole midst of all the other superpowers. Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, you're in the perfect place in, in Soviet Union. <laughs> yes, that's yeah. right. 100%, believe me. And in Antarctica, maybe. Xenia was born in Soviet time, and the wall fell when she was six, so yeah. she remembers it very well. Wow. Yeah. She yeah remember, I remember tanks coming in. And I yeah, she was six, in the hiding in the back of the car in her grandfather's car, wow. and the tanks coming in. and the, Yeah. yeah. Wow. Tear down that wall, Mr. Gorbachev. That's right. <laughs> we took the kids the other year. We took them on one of our trips, which terrifies my mother. We ended up at the three corners where Latvia, Belarus, and Russia meet. And we almost got caught. It was a 3,000 euro fine for each of us. And it would have been five years expulsion for me and the kids. Oh, Are my you... God. We were driving 100 yards away from the border the whole time. And we find the, the, this woman living there in this old house. Later on, we found out because, like, yeah, because Latvia is very weird because it's part of the European Union. So we're at borders Estonia and Lithuania. Wow. There's nothing. It's just like crossing states. Uh -huh. We're at borders Russia and Belarus. The last 40 kilometers, even living there, you have to have your passport at all times. Wow. But the last two kilometers, you need a permit that's issued every year from the government just to live there. So we have this Volkswagen Golf, and we're going down this little road, and there's this little old gray house. It was that of any World War II movie you've ever seen. And she has a, not even a driveway, but just like, you know, the two dirt tracks with grass in the middle. Yeah. That's I said, hey, Xenia, ask this woman where this bloody place is. Because I'm a huge Soviet time buff. I love that history because it was my history. Now, I don't speak Latvian, but I understand shock. <laughs> and the shock came when Xenia asked about it. The woman said, well, just go there. When the border crossing guys come, show them your permits. And Xenia literally said, what permits? And the woman went white as a ghost. Oh my God. And she's like, the last two kilometers even to live here, you have to have a permit issued by the government every year just to it live here. With you. Yeah. Two kids, four and eight years old. Yeah. So we're in a brown Volkswagen Golf driving at 40 kilometers an hour, but like <laughs> flying at the same time to get out of there. Wow. Oh my goodness. We get out, and I literally got out and smoked four cigarettes in a row, thinking, what did I just put my kids through? Like, my hands were shaking, going like this. Oh. 
So we the, I, we called the place and they said, yeah, you can't do it. It takes at least three days for the paperwork. And we said, we really want to go. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I forgot about the yeah, camera. Okay. So I finally went to this border crossing agent and we talked for about 30 minutes. And Canada and Russia's uh, relations weren't very good at the time because that's when Stephen Harper was fighting with Putin. And this guy was Latvian but Russian descent. And he walked up and he goes, you're from Canada, and I'm like, yeah, and I heard their accent, and I'm like, I'm not getting through here today at all. I like your hockey team, the Edmonton Oilers. Now, I know nothing about them, not a clue since Gretzky played. I'm like, oh, yeah, they had a good year, and I'm like going on like a lunatic probably from the side, and I'm giving them points. So he agreed in the end to let us go with no paperwork. He said, I'm radioing in. You're going to go back. There's a cross a checkpoint. And when you get there, there's like six cameras hidden in the trees. And he was right. You could see them all. Oh, and we had to walk the last two kilometers in. And it's a road only used for the military that was built when the Russians went to take on the Germans. <sighs> and we're walking. There's this eerily quiet. There's nothing. Like not a soul, not a breath, barely even a bird. Just the wind and the trees, the pines. And you walk through a gate. That I almost walked right into Russia because he forgot to tell me to go in before we get to the turn. I almost blindly like limped right into Russia without a clue. And you go through and there's two rows of uh, uh, lime trees, which is the official tree of Latvia with a walkway. And when you come out, there's this clearing and there's a mound of ground about 15 feet high with a big round tree. And the mound is made of the ashes of 40 villages that were destroyed during World War II. They brought them there. And they call it the Tree of Hope. And it's a 60-foot round tree oh, wow. with three pillars coming out of it in cement. And it has a message of peace in Belarusian, Latvian, and Russian. Wow. And when you're standing there about 150 feet away, there's two little wooden bridges that are maybe 10 feet long that go over a creek. Uh -huh. This one has poplar trees on both sides, and this one has birch trees on both sides. You go through the poplar, and when you put your foot on the bridge, you've technically entered the land of Belarus. If you go through the birch and put your foot on the bridge, you've technically entered Russia. Wow. And we spent about two hours there, and they, all they had was a bit of police tape and a little creek and then the three poles on the other side. Yeah, it's just uh, the, the guard there that we talked about before, uh, he, you know, he warned us. He said, just please tell your kids don't step uh, on that bridge because once you're there, you're over on, on the other side. And, they can detain you. You know, they, they don't warn you <laughs> kind of thing. Yeah. So oh. just he just repeated like three times, just make sure your kids don't run on that bridge, you know. It's a... Uh, just kind of weird because like nobody was there. You can't see guns or, or, or soldiers, anybody guarding it, but really they are there. It's just not visible, right? It was strange. Yeah, and, and then a couple months after uh, uh, the, all that mishap started again with Russia and Baltic states and Ukraine. So now they built a nine foot uh, uh, wire wall there. So it's not even accessible. We right were probably now. one of the last ones with our kids to ever be allowed to yeah, go there. Because it's the last uh, border from EU uh, before Russia. So that's wow. amazing. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah, it's, I don't know if I can tell the difference between popular and birch. I yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that, that's the it's most impressive. Right? Which, right? <laughs> what, did, what did they say, Kathy? What do you do? You remember? Where's my Google Maps? <laughs> and that's where we would have been detained, and he would have been telling the truth. <laughs> <laughs> that's so funny. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry for the long story, by the way, about oh, that. No, that's, that's, that's totally story. interesting. Wow. Philip Cockrum said, "Get a great story." Oh, thank you. <laughs> no, it's, it yeah. was it was kind of risky too, uh, you know, when we talk about it and look back at it. But then at the same time, to think that our kids got to experience that, and you know, it it, it really was in a way historical for them, you know, to be able to talk about it like 20 years how, later. How old are they now? Well, do they even realize that yet? Or uh, my, my, uh, like our son, he does realize, especially when we watch the, the pictures through, he does remember that himself and he realizes the importance of it because he always was like science and history buff. He always watches all the history documentaries. So he was impressed even when we were there already, you know, our yeah. daughter, she was obviously too small, but just the fact itself, you know, for them afterwards. But for our son, definitely, yeah. he he was very impressed because he just used to watch all that, you know. In it's the one of those things when they're older, before. they'll be able to look back and say they did. For sure. you now, know? now, I don't know, but where is your son now? Like, is he how old is he now? Yeah, the the middle one is my oldest is twenty. He lives in Montreal. Okay. And then we have Chris, who's eleven. He was the one that was eight at the time. He's yeah. living here. Yeah. So. Okay. Yeah. yeah. He 
you've not been on. I've not met him. I've only met your daughter. Yeah, he was on one night. We just did one interview with him with a gaming dude. Yeah, we did an interview with Gaming Dude, uh, which is a father and son duo. I don't uh, think he liked it. I mean, he liked the interviewing, but I think he doesn't like the cameras so much. Yeah, he doesn't yeah. like really. He's not on. Well, he's on Facebook just to talk with our, our family, but he doesn't really like the social media either. He's He doesn't post nothing. He, he yeah. likes his Minecraft and he chats, but he's more into to other stuff, so he's not interested into that. But he didn't mind coming and interviewing uh, the boy because he, they are the same age with the same gaming interests. So he was yeah. once on, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea what Jesse's up to, but our oldest came in, and I don't know if you saw me doing this while ago, but, but he was behind the camera going, don't say anything. <laughs> 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 that would be my 20 year old. He would be like that. He'd be yes. like, uh, yeah, he, yeah. he came in because he needed saran wrap for his tattoo. You know, he, he just. Oh, he got a new tattoo. Tonight, yeah. yeah. And, oh, oh wow. yeah, yeah. He had to put his ointment on it and he was trying to get the saran wrap out of the kitchen, but he was like avoiding the camera as he walked in. Oh, my God, that's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> Not everybody wants to be in front of the camera, so that's okay. Uh, and now we know yeah. about that too, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mom, stop telling about my life. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know what he traded? He traded an AR-15 um, for that. Really? Yeah. Is that now? That's really crazy now, isn't it? <laughs> at, least, at least I don't have an AR-15 in my house anymore. There. So it was a win. I guess you kind of got a bit I, of a. I really wasn't excited about the tattoo, but I was glad to see the gun go. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a good trade, oh, I guess. Oh my god. That was very instead of guns for toys they used to do in the inner cities, it's guns for tattoos now. Right. <laughs> that's ridiculous. Yes. That's ridiculous. <laughs> it works, my God. <laughs> do, do you hunt at all or are you a gun guy at all? Oh, I'm not a gun guy. Nope. No, no, he he this is he no, a gun. No, 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 no. Yeah, it's fun to do that with other people around here because they think they get a big kick out of it. But you know, I just—it's just not my thing. We we have a we my have thing an, is pickleball. We have an <laughs> really seriously weapon of choice. That's right. Yeah, we, we That's okay, have though. U.S. Army infantrymen and and the mom and dad—they have no idea what how to handle a gun. <laughs> But I think that's okay. I actually respect that because it's harder. And I know like Saskatchewan, certain parts it's like, you know, more common than others. So it's hard. I respect somebody who makes it. Not that I'm – I do believe one thing we do have decently in Canada with so far has been kind of the rule set for rifles. Like there's no automatic, no stuff. It's got a bit better control over it. My yeah. father was a hunter. Uh, I've hunted for moose and stuff. But I'm – my father was never taught me to be a wahoo with a gun. Like, you know, it was never – Kill for the sake of kill, never shoot for the sake of shooting, not to I wasn't even allowed a BB gun because he never wanted me to mistake a gun for a toy. You could shoot your eye out. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, <laughs> you know, yeah, I, I I have a lot of funny videos with the, the paintball guns. Oh. Really? Because we raced you well, know, airsoft. Airsoft, yeah. Yeah. We have three boys. So when I was, you know, ten well, I guess fifteen years ago, before Jesse came. You, you I, know got those some, I got some funny footage with, it, you know with those three things, boys in airsoft guns. You know they put, it puts holes you, in the siding. That would make some good viral videos. Yeah, yeah, if you're yeah. close enough. Yeah. <laughs> we got about 100 holes in our siding. <laughs> <laughs> I put duct tape over them for, Actually, years, think, for 10 think, years. If I can find it, I have a video of Jesse. <clears throat> I think Jesse's like. Eight months. When did they start walking? Like nine months, ten months old. 11, I think Jesse's months. like ten months old, and we're out on the patio, and the three boys are getting in a fight, and one throws a lawn chair across the room, and but the whole time it's hilarious because I'm videoing my adorable twelve, ten month old daughter, but my three boys are behind me fighting. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I watch it now. Like I, I watch it now. Because she's ten, I react and I think, "What was I doing?" And because it's it's funny to me because I'm I, I just ignored them. That's so amazing. I, I literally ignored these three boys fighting with an airsoft gun behind me, and I got a ten month old baby on the patio. 
And the lawn chair's flying behind me, and the boy's like going, ow, in his back because his yeah. father hit him with a gun. And, <laughs> and I watch this video now because I've been trying to post videos for Veda and looking at old home movies, and I'm yeah. like, God, I, was, I, I just ignored that going on. <laughs> yeah. What the heck was I thinking? <laughs> Well, you were a little outnumbered at the time. I wonder how Chris feels now. The boys are gone, and the more the the, the estrogen levels are. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no. No. Jesse's no. great. Jesse's awesome. Jesse's Jesse's a yeah. trooper. Yeah, we haven't started any of those kind of issues yet. So no, no. but I've just met like the like the, the 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 what do you call it? The turn of power is a little more now. Right. No. It's just so weird. I feel like I can I could mentor so many young moms that have young kids now, because. I've, Why not? I lived through it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Let me ask you: uh, Is there a difference of uh, you know raising boys and and a girl? Like, do you feel that you are different as a mother? I don't. I didn't think I was until I just recently started watching old movies. Home, home old videos. movies. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I I am completely different raising my daughter. 40 and above than I was a mom raising three boys in yeah. my late twenties and thirties. Hmm. I didn't think I was, I mean, I really thought I was raising her the same way, same principles, same strictness, but yeah, I, I can say now that I don't think I was, I think I'm raising her completely different. Chris, do, do you say find yourself softer with uh, your daughter than with the boys? No, no. No, because see, I didn't discipline them. She did. <laughs> yeah, uh, I did. I was. Well, the thing is, since she was yelling all the time, I didn't have to. <laughs> oh my God. This is so, I love him so much. She, love she comes from a long line of hollers. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you know, I, I was teaching kindergarten this week. And I know, I'm known as a bubbly sweet preschool teacher yeah and i have that reputation and i was teaching kindergarten this week and it, and i've been away because i had some surgeries and i've been away and i was i'm in the kindergarten room this week and and there was a teacher that came in to use the copy machine in the other teacher's room and i i knew she was in there but i didn't care that there was another teacher in the room and it's what 19 days left of the school year the kids are crazy it's uh they weren't listening yeah and i got majorly drill sergeant with these gardeners <laughs> and the teacher later at when school ends she goes i've never seen you yell like that <laughs> like possessed or something <laughs> and i said oh trust me i can be a drill sergeant <laughs> all right well, let me ask you a question do you think there's difference between christian and muslim cultures uh, ye. okay. The be, uh, uh, I'm trying to think of that. You asked if there's a difference between Christian and Muslim cultures. I, you don't have to answer that question. I don't really think there is a difference. It's just a different uh, name, maybe some difference in it, but the re the core values, I think, is the same. All right. Well, I'm trying to make a joke because. <laughs> <laughs> See, I didn't get it. <laughs> oh, see, Kathy, well, no, Kathy, Kathy grew up with her brothers, right? And they're insane. See, they. My family was nothing like that. So she knew that her kids could have her genes and that she would have to treat them and discipline them like that. Where in my family, we didn't need any of that. <laughs> you knew already. Yeah, she knew what she was up against. I didn't. <laughs> she knew the culture. <laughs> oh, oh my God. <laughs> Andrew's dying here. <laughs> oh, I think I found my soulmate. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, John, my oldest son. So you asked about my daughter. So my oldest son, Johnny, when he was three, when you say, come on, Johnny, we got to leave. He would turn around and start running away. And he'd look back at you and giggle. <laughs> That's fun. <laughs> and I would just, and I thought it was cute. And I'd run after him and I'd pick him up and I'd swing him around. Right. And I would take him back. Well, it's not as funny when they're 17. Yes. And they're looking back at you and they're giggling and not doing what you want them to do. Yeah. yeah. Right? right. So when our daughter was three and 
I said, it's time to go, Jesse. And she starts running away and giggling. Now it's like run after her, spank her on the butt and say, it's time to go. Because <laughs> you know yeah, what? I've true. seen this movie before. <laughs> and that's I can't right. I, and I can't go through this when I'm that's you know, right. You exactly old with a 17-year-old girl. This yep. is gonna be insane. So it's time to kind of nip this in the butt. Yep. So she's spoiled from the point of view of attention because she gets the attention that three boys got. Nope, we lost her. Hmm. This is from UK. Yeah, oh. I know. Hi. Hi. Well, yeah, we're back. back. <laughs> we're, glad we're glad to be a host. We're glad to be a guest on you guys' show tonight. Thank you for having us. Well, thank you for <laughs> spending two hours with us. Yeah, I mean, how I, I like again, I wanted to say, I don't know what's going on in the chat. Are, are we? Uh, well, there are some new people coming in, uh, I guess, from other streams here. Uh, we have um, uh, Juliet Miranda in. Uh, Josie just left the house. <laughs> uh, built it, fix it, do it is in. Philip Cochran says, I really like Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Chris is our hero, though. No, no. Yeah. <laughs> um yeah so. i love that everyone is knowing me differently and knowing my better half because sometimes i feel like they think i'm some single mom that only has this daughter <laughs> like, well what? yeah exactly that's why it's so good to see the other side so to say and that's what we're trying to do through our live streams too uh you know to as i always say to get to know the people behind the channels because there's so much more behind what we see through the videos even though you are vlogging for example uh, it's still just the surface right and, and i mean no we're not going to know you completely after this but it's still more than just watching the videos and that's what i like so much about this is getting to know the you know the real people like you guys yeah. know yeah and then i told him i go it's just like skyping or facetiming it'll be fun it'll be like a double date but in i also I also know that being in live streams and how the chat feels and, and them ignoring it. But I, so I always want to make sure that I, I make them aware that I am not ignoring the chat. I just, Oh no, definitely. And I always, that's why it's great that there are two of us here because I always try to answer what I can and welcome people that are coming in. So <laughs> yeah. are there any questions that anyone have that we haven't addressed or that they, uh, I, Oh, there was one question earlier from Donnie Shasho. He was asking if you started the three week sexy challenge, oh, I know the answer, but maybe you can explain more. Oh no. Um, David Snyder. Uh, is totally the one who started the three week sexy challenge. Uh, I was on a live stream with him and he was talking about wanting to be encouraged to do weight loss or to get better healthy. And I just started talking about how I do it. And I said, you know, you need to, you need to try to drink half your body weight in ounces of water and do 30 minutes of cardio and I said my son's getting married and I want to lose some weight and I need somebody to keep me accountable so maybe you should start a weight loss challenge and he went with it and that's how that all started okay and is it is it is it easy to keep up with it no no I I find all all diets are so restricting but I know personally how I get my weight and how I maintain my weight. So I was just encouraging him how I do it. And I said, if you just give up sugar, if you just start slow, I, I was telling him in a live stream, I said, if you just start slow, don't, <laughs> don't, don't, don't restrict yourself because I know as a dieter who crashes all the time, I can't set goals. I can't, I have to start slow. And I said, just drink half your body weight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> of water every day that alone for me is a challenge if i just get water in i don't even need to diet yeah. and i told him i said sugar is 
such a bad evil if you could just give up sugar. Well, he went he went overboard with it. He he gave up all processed food. Said he was going to do cardio. And with Chris, he can't stand when I diet because it's like not fun for us if I'm dieting. Mm-hmm. Because you know we can't go out and have a nice drink, or we can't go to a restaurant and have a nice dinner. Because no, honey, I'm on a diet. And so he's always like, if you would just exercise, it'd be fine. And I'm like, you're a guy. You don't get it. <laughs> just, just two hours of pickleball, three days a week. That's, yeah. <laughs> That's all it takes, yeah. Well, I, you know, I haven't spoke with David Snyder this week, but he's lo- he lost like 12 pounds in the first wow. week. And I'm like, God, I lost wow. four. Excellent. Wow. Like, that's the difference between a man and a woman. I'm like, a woman can do the same thing and lose four pounds. A man can lose 12 pounds. I'm like, it's just not fair. But it, it, it's the metabolism thing is different, and I. But even now at forty four, I'm trying to do it again. I find it so much harder than when I was forty. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know it's already you can feel that slowdown in it. It is, and, and, and for me, it's been a. I've been dieting since two thousand ten, because I got to a certain age, and I still wanted to look like I was some um, twenty year old girl, right? So, well, mission accomplished. Yes. <laughs> No, I mean, thank you. I mean, it's been a it's been a self worth journey for me to just be, just a, embrace the roles, embrace the wrinkles, embrace the motherhood. Don't have to don't compete anymore. Just yeah. just know you're beautiful, regardless. And so now it's it's not a diet anymore. Now it's it's just. You know, you need to be healthy for your 10 year old daughter. You need to be able to take her to the park or when she wants to jump on the trampoline, you need to be able to jump on the trampoline with her. You need to, you know, be able to go ride a bike or get on a hoverboard. (laughs) (laughs) Or bend bend down and chalk with her in the driveway and not hurt when you get back up and those kind of things. So I don't. I don't compete anymore. I don't want to compete and suck myself into a size four pair of jeans and bend over on the driveway and chalk and worry about the neighbor seeing my crack hanging out in a low rise pair of jeans or, or whatever. You know, I just I want to be who I am and be comfortable and just be healthy. <laughs> well, look how beautiful Chris is from pickleball. There you go. Well, he's he's blessed with. Metabolism. Pickleball. That, yeah. that, <laughs> <it's> pickleball. <laughs> My husband will never ever have a weight problem. Ever. Yeah. He just has that that metabolism that for metabolism it. Metabolism for it. Um He's nervous. Uh, guys, sorry, I was just because a while ago we were switched around and I couldn't share anything. I just was gonna some people have seen this already, but I just wanted to show you in case we get cut off again. Um uh, that's uh oh, goodness, that's it. That's the place. Yeah, I'll just go very quickly, but that's the oh. stuff. And there, that's literally going into Belarus right behind me, behind those trees. Wow. And that's Russia right there, just past that point. Here, I'll move this. Sorry. Oh, they're trying to they're trying to draw you in there, aren't they? Yeah, it's just a little walkway, and it's oh, yeah. not much to it. And I'll just find – there's into Belarus right there. You can see the bridge is partly damaged. Oh. oh. It's, it's That's incredible. There's the kids. Yeah, and that's that tree. Oh, you'll see in a second that tree of hope. Like there, I'm as pretty much almost as close as you can get. That's that tree of hope. That's the ashes from yeah. 40 villages. Oh my goodness! And that sign here is written in Latvian, and then the other one that's sticking out is in Belarus here, and this side in Russian. Oh my goodness! Oh, that picture just looks like a book cover. <laughs> yeah, it does. I, I thought that before too. Yeah, no, I, I was thinking the same thing. Yeah, as, and it's an oak tree, like a symbol, yeah. a symbol of strength and unity. So. Yep. And this is the lime tree going into Latvia that we walk through. Oh, and there's know. there's the actual three points themselves. And that pointer, that stick right here with the yellow tape, that's yep. the only thing dividing between the three borders. And like I have lived there and I never knew of this existing. And I always saw that there is some kind of more strengthened border, uh, you know, yeah. because of what has been going on. Ended up in Russia. We lost and, this, sides. and this is the road. This was created during World War II for the Russians' offensive against the Germans as they came in to attack. We actually can hear you, but we can't see anything. 
Oh, you can't see? Oh, they disappear? Yeah. Oh, we're probably getting reset again. Oh. We only yeah. see your logo. There we go. I'm sorry, did you get to see any of the pictures, though? Yeah, yeah, okay. we did. The last That's picture beautiful. we saw was the what one of your son. Place. Oh, thank you. Yeah, so, but that gives you a feel of the area. Sorry, it was just in case we get cut off again. I wanted to show that. Probably not what I envisioned Russia to look like, though. That's, nope. that's interesting to see. Thanks it's for weird, like Latvia itself reminds me much. I don't know if you know the provinces very well, but I live in Quebec, and then the next one east is New Brunswick above Maine. Okay. It looks very much like that terrain, like rolling hills, except you trade spruce for uh, pine. Okay. But, yeah, the, other than that, it's pretty much the same. It's, I really like it there. I'm hoping like to partly retire there. Really? Wow. Yeah, I really like it. I, I don't know. There's something about it. Uh, the people are really nice. And it's this old European, it's, it's tiny, the town. And you literally get the old guy with his Sunday vest on with the flat hat, driving the bicycle with the handlebars turned up. You, know, you feel like you're on Hogan's Heroes sometimes, like when you're driving down the road. And that. You are stepping back in time a little. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Big time. Her house, uh, where her mom grew up, there's trees on each side, and the Russians and the Germans fought between that house and World War II, and her, her grandmother was caught there with her seven-month-old son while her husband hid in the trenches. You can still see them to this day where they had to hide. Oh, my goodness. Because they wouldn't touch the women and children, but the men were shot on sight between either the Germans or the Russians. That's an, yeah. And they fought, and they eventually took over that house, and she ran over the hill holding her then nine-month-old son. And he said, the floorboards that you're standing on to tonight is where the Germans spent two months planning their attack against the Russians. Wow. Yeah. yeah, yeah. History. Back in history, you don't stumble upon that much. No. <laughs> and I love that kind of stuff. I'm always into that. So that's that's, that's been the coolest part of doing it. And I'm your best attack yeah. from Soviet times. <laughs> She's my souvenir of my Soviet souvenir, I call her. <laughs> travels. Cool. For me, that is just like it's in a book. It's not real life. So that's, <laughs> that's really interesting to find. Yeah. That's why we call the town. Our, I don't know if Chris knows. You probably heard of Kathy. That's why we call our business Pusha Studios because Pusha's, it pushes the town where her mom grew up. That's the name oh, of the town. Mom recently passed away. Oh, yeah. They're wow. honoring her in that name. Yeah. Well, that's, that's great. Xenia lost her father when he was when she was 16. Mm -hmm. Is it okay if I just yeah. It? yeah, her father was murdered when she was 16. He was found in a park. He had been hit over the head. It was, not, uh, you know, the end of 90s real estate uh, boom and <laughs> and underground of that. So uh, it's Not that he was doing anything underground, but just the times a lot of Russians were coming in and buying, like, buildings with a suitcase of money type of thing. Like, yeah. you know, and he might have got caught in a bad deal. They don't know to this day. <laughs> And then when she was 29 living here, her mother died at 55, and her grandmother died three weeks before that, and then she was like an only child. Wow. And yeah, so she was an only child. I mean, she had, was an only child, and then her all of her parents and, and grandparents are gone. Yeah, my direct family uncles. is all, all gone, but <laughs> I have my family here. So. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's right, you do. <laughs> That's what's so fascinating about YouTube is meeting people and meeting different people who have have just yeah. really experienced some amazing cultures. I mean, I've, I'm the only country we've ever, I've ever been out of is well, what, you know Jamaica. What? I mean, she's from. I'm not a traveler, but I get to travel through other people. That is true. That's a good point. Okay, well, she's from Crystal City, and I'm from Festus. You're not supposed to say that, but they call them. You're right. They're called. Potato sack. They're called. <laughs> they're called the <laughs> okay, we we are so we've met across the Twin Cities. Isn't that amazing? Things are un unbelievable. <laughs> yeah, but it's so nice. You guys are such a compliment to each other. You guys are such a fan. I've I'm so impressed by watching you guys tonight. Like I mean, and I got to know we've got to know Kathy over a while, and I mean it's a whole new light all over again. And this has been absolutely unbelievable. <laughs> He's an right. idiot. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> That's I can't argue. <laughs> Wait, you know the funny thing about that is, is I if I'm working. We just got married, and I'm working on my car, and I'm out there, and it's not going well. And I go, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. And so she comes out, and she says, "I would never ever call myself an idiot." An idiot. <laughs> and it was born at that moment. That's right. I'm like, I am an idiot. I mean, 
there's just so many things you don't understand, right? We just truly, truly know oh. we can be. I mean, I, I can't imagine being with anybody else but him. Yeah. Or living through anything that I've ever done or him the same. I mean, it's you just, yeah, it works. Well, uh, we've been together lo now longer than <laughs> we were apart when we first were born, right? That's true. I've been together longer than we were apart. So, yeah, that's yes, true. You got to look at it that true, way. Yeah. That is a very big point. I mean, you guys have been the majority of your lives have been with you guys. Yep. Yeah, cool. he's he's fifty. He turned fifty one in March, and I was fifty in March, and we've been married twenty five years, almost twenty six years now. And I told him, I'm like, gosh, I mean, there you go. We we're, we're like each other's lives. <laughs> Something's working. Yeah. <laughs> call it fate, call it circumstance, whatever. And it brought you guys, and it's got you where you are today. Yeah, and go. it's also made Chris more comfortable with the camera. He's actually done yeah. quite well. It, it's went so well tonight. And I got to tell you, like I said in my tweet, like what it, we got to be 20 minutes before we were live. And I was really worried what it was going to look like in the kitchen. <laughs> so I was like, oh my gosh, we're going live in 20 minutes. People, get it together. <laughs> <laughs> we're going live. Three, two, one. <laughs> I just don't. Uh... I just don't sit down, okay? I just like to keep moving around. I'm always yeah. a busybody, so. Yeah, he, uh, at 10 to 6, I went out to the garage, and he was still under the hood of a car, and I go, do you realize we're going live in, in almost an hour? And he goes, it's 5.30. And I said, no, we're not, it's 10 to 6. Well, the clock in the, in the, in the garage, apparently the battery went dead. Oh. So it was, it was that time where I was yeah. at. And, and, you know, usually we, we like to have date nights on Saturday nights. We try to either have a date night here at home. We tell our 10 year old daughter, like it's date night, you know, which right. turn, we've learned through the years to tell our children, mommy and daddy are going to go kiss. You can either listen and part of it, or you can go away. I love the shock value of that. And, and we find that they more than likely want to get away. So we say, sorry, you know, we're having a date. You can you can either come join us or not. <laughs> they don't oh, want to join us, so what a surprise! Hey, you think they'd be right into that? Yeah. <laughs> but we, I find like Saturday nights, we I look forward to it all week. Yeah. But and you know I'll spend three hours getting ready for our Saturday dates. I prepare all day Saturday for our Saturday dates. Right. For a man, he'll go in and shower 15 minutes before we're getting ready to leave. <laughs> oh, I have no idea what you're talking about. No, I mean, I'm preparing. I'm like preparing our children. I'm preparing that when we're going to have dinner so that dinner can actually be cleaned up before we leave. I'm I'm preparing laundry's done. I'm preparing, you know, we're going on a date tonight, you know, and, and it's not going to be chaotic right when we walk out the door. Oh. Well, you know, usually every Saturday night at six o'clock and he's still working in the yard or he's under greasy under a hood. Yeah. I'm in the robe, made up, hair ready and know what outfit I'm wearing because I worked on it for three days before we were going to go out on Saturday night. And and then it's 730 and I'm done. I'm like, you know what? I'm, I'm no, let's just have our date. I'm in my pajamas. Like, yeah, I'm not going yeah. out. Yeah, I've, been, I've been waiting for four hours for you to take me out. Like, forget right. it now. I'm tired. No, Let's just no. have a day. <laughs> Her clock runs a half an hour fast. Mine runs a half an hour slow. So, oh. for, so for tonight, what I was getting at, long story short, this was my date night. Our yeah. live stream, I've been telling him all week, it's going to be a couple's date. We're going to yeah. sit. We're going to interact. And we're going to have a date night. And I, I, was, I was stressed 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, she didn't catch me, but I forgot to trim after I, so after dinner, I went back out and trimmed. <laughs> no, I mean I'm serious. And then plus our college boys aren't usually home nowadays. Yeah. They're home this weekend. And you know, at 4 30, they're like, Mom, are you cooking dinner tonight? And I'm like, yeah. I wasn't. Well, I'm supposed to go live at seven. I like, I really didn't want to cook dinner, but I had to fry fish. So I was like, <laughs> 
I'm like, gosh, I'm frying fish. I'm like, it's 6.15. Oh, Are you guys be in the kitchen? Are you, you know, oh, I was stressed out right before we started. <laughs> oh, you guys are doing great. And that's what I like about it. It's so informal that it is like a date night. You're so right. Mm -hmm. You know, it's it, it would be the same as we would be sitting in your guys' kitchen or you would be here in our living room, yeah. you know. And it is like date night because I just found out two hours later I'm on a date. So just like I told you a while ago. <laughs> well, we have to thank you guys. You've spent three hours longer with us than our friends do. <laughs> That's so true. <laughs> oh, man, that was a good one. You like that one? Yeah. Right, that was okay. good. Okay, good. Oh, my oh. God. You guys are so amazing. Oh, uh, 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 why does best friend in your thread have a broken heart now? Do we say something? What? Oh, Susie's not here. That's why. Sorry. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, uh, it's all good. <laughs> okay. Uh, no, but thank you guys so much for yeah. for uh, using you. us. You know, to have us on your. Thanks date for night. letting us double with you. <laughs> yeah, it's fantastic. It was a great night. Guys, I hope we can do this again sometime. This was really nice. Yes, it was so much fun and. Yeah. Yes, yeah. definitely. My God. <laughs> we get growing in the channels. Maybe we'll collab and you guys can come to Montreal or vice versa or something like that. Oh, that sounds fantastic. Oh, that but, would be cool. But if yeah. Canadians can't get in, I can't imagine <laughs> us getting in. <laughs> you know, it's funny. When you were telling your story about being separated and being... Um, yeah, What's thousands of miles away. What? No, well, they were being. You were being. Uh, oh, being questioned of that. Yeah, interrogation. I don't know why, but I was. I was. <laughs> this doesn't even make any sense or relating to that. But I was remembering my, my Michael's picture when he was in first grade, and he drew a picture of his family. Oh yeah, that's great. That's awesome. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> God, tell me. Well. Michael, when he was in first grade, he had to draw a picture of his family and write a sentence about his family. Okay. And and the the picture was a stick woman with eyebrows down and teeth. Uh. And she, was, she was holding three two stick children on this hand and one stick child on this hand. Okay. Okay, and they're like a monster. <laughs> and then there's an airplane, airplane in this in the sky. Oh my god! And it said, "My mom always yells. My daddy's always gone." <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! And and so this is my third child in first grade, <laughs> and his and can you imagine the teacher? <laughs> Did you get called into school? Yes. So I have a question. <laughs> oh my god. Question, but thankfully, you know, third kid. I laughed at it. I was like, yeah, that's that's true. <laughs> that's Mom, what it is. Mom's always yelling, dad's yeah. always gone. <laughs> it's stick to the truth as well. That's where one of those ones where the mom laughs and the father's like, Oh my god, look what they're doing. Look what you're thinking. Like, you said you said you were being questioned. The only thing the only you thing you can truth. do is to tell the truth. Yeah, right? yeah that's right. <laughs> truth will set you free. When you said that, I was remembering that. I was like, all I can do is tell the truth. Like, I mean, exactly. yeah. oh that, my we god, said a while funny. ago about your father. That's another episode of Everybody Loves Raymond when the kid writes the story of the angry family and they all get called in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But yeah, the, yeah, that episode, that's right. Yes. Like he yeah. said, he didn't have to discipline. I was always disciplined because I was. I was always yelling at my three boys all the time. Down the rabbit hole travel says, my son thinks my husband lives at work. <laughs> yeah. oh is it the same four-year-old down the rabbit hole? Is it the same one? Her, her, her four-year-old is, is just hilarious. They, they are doing the potty training now, and the other night, and this, they had an accident, decided to clean everything up with a small napkin from the table. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. The four-year-old is hilarious. Is there anything? I, I feel for young moms with multiple kids. Yeah. 
And I do. I want to mentor them all the time. I want to take them under my wing and go, look, it's going to be better. But I think it would be so amazing because you do have, uh, you know, such a vast experience with with boys, with girls, you know, and different ages and going through different stages and, and you know, moments in life. And uh, I think it would be amazing. Yeah. Yeah, the four-year-old things that her husband the is living. The two-year-old. Oh, the two-year-old. She okay, said the one sorry. that pees on the floor. That's the one with the nap. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> no. That's our um, daughter that you met a while ago. She, we let her open. We had the guy. I don't know if you remember him, Kathy, the balloon guy that ties uh, all the balloon stuff. Terrence. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah the the, the uh, Terrence, the balloon guy. Yeah. And yeah, uh, we, on that live stream. Yeah. And Audrey opened. And we thought it'd be cute to start it. And she's sitting here. We're out in the hallway because we didn't want to kind of coach her. But I'm sitting there the whole time with my finger ready to hit the end broadcast because I'm like, oh, God, this could go so bad in such a second. God only knows what she decides to open up to the world right now. Yeah, and then she started to tell about your bad driving. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Daddy was yelling and blowing yeah. the horn. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, I did the last live stream, not the last, the second to last live stream I did with Jesse. We got in an argument on live, and, and I had to look at the camera and go, just a second. And I had, to, I had to discipline her because she was getting out of line. And I was, and then I got back to the camera. I'm like, sorry, y'all, this is live. I'm yeah. like, what can you do? I mean, you're live and, you know, don't know what your children, your kids going to do. And they know when it's a good time to try and get away with something. They're very oh, good yeah. at picking that up. Yeah. Yes. Uh, down the rabbit hole says that uh, please help me, Kathy, <laughs> with her two-year-old. Uh, and best friend in your thread says that uh, that could be another channel or series for you. Have you thought about that? Yeah, I have. I, I, I just don't know. You know, that's my vlog channel. I, I try. But here's the thing, and I got to tell a lot of moms this. When you're vlogging out there and you're being vulnerable, yeah, it you have to make sure that it's okay with the child. Um, there, there are so many things I've wanted to vlog with my teenage boys and the struggles I've had to help other moms, but I have found it easier to do it in responding to their vulnerability and watching their live streams and, and just being there for them yeah. than, doing, than saying what has happened to me on camera because yeah. It, it bothers my son. It's it's telling their story, and it's not my story to tell. Mm -hmm. Right. I have to respect their privacy. I think you should just post their home videos. <laughs> <laughs> One of my favorites was our. we went out to eat, and our middle son was four years old, and he was hot. He kept saying he was warm, and I just kept brushing it off. Eventually, he took his shirt off in the restaurant. It was a red lobster. And then he proceeded to run around the table and bring his, his shirt around. Anyway, I, we, where we live, people make fun of it in St. Louis. Yeah. So I basically told him where we were from and everybody understood. <laughs> Everything about us now. They know where we live, they know my last right, name. Right, right. But then anything, <laughs> anyway, the, uh, we, we, were, we were chatting with our pediatrician Oh, and we sort of mentioned the story and that our kids were a little rowdy or whatever. And he said, well, if, let me ask you one question. I, I said, OK. He said, well, how do they act when they're at home? And I go, OK. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would have thought nothing of it at home. That's, oh my that's, God. That's we tell young parents that all the time, because if you're in your own kitchen and you want to sit down at a family meal, you better treat your kitchen like it's a restaurant. Yes. Because as soon as you take them to a restaurant, they're going to exactly like they do in your kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> so true. I agree with that 100%. Yeah. It, it, it does start at home. Like our kids, uh, seven and, that, and they have chores every day they got to do. There's routine and part of it. And it's not a bad thing. And I don't throw five cents every time they lift something. I want them to learn that there's a like the next door neighbors to us, they're elderly. And I've had my son go over and shovel everything out. And I'll, I, he gets all he needs if he needs something. But I don't want to say, oh, well, there you did it. It's $5. I don't want it always being. Yeah, we don't pay, pay for chores. It's you know, to always thing, think yeah. that it's connected, you know, without yeah. money, you can't do anything. Yeah. And as a preschool teacher, I said, I'm not 
I mean, I, I, yeah, you got to teach them their ABCs and how to write their name and their numbers and shapes. But for me, I took it more upon, I wanted to teach them life skills. I wanted yeah. them to be able to take their lunch tray when they get to kindergarten and yep. go down and open their own milk and be able to eat with a fork, yep. wipe their nose and know when snot's running out of their nose and yep. don't want to wash their hands for germs. I wanted to teach them life, life skills. That was more important to me as a preschool teacher. Yeah. Then oh, right. them their letters and shapes and numbers because I kept telling parents they're going to learn that in kindergarten. That's what kindergarten is for. They need to know how to socialize and yeah. be in kindergarten. They need to learn how to stand in a line and not bug the kid in front of them and get in trouble. Exactly. They need to know no, but it's true. It's running down their nose, and they need yep. to know how to blow it and wipe it. And then, <laughs> You know, I tell I tell preschool parents all the time, teach your kids how to live and socialize. Yes. <laughs> and not have to be thought for every moment. It, like Xenia has that term, I don't know if you came up with it or made it up, with the, uh, used to say helicopter parents, now they're called lawnmower parents where they actually cut yeah. the path in front of them. Like the kids yeah. learn to struggle at all, and then how do they deal with the real world when it comes time? Yeah. And it's got to start right from the beginning. Yeah. yeah. Sound, like, that lawnmower parents sounds terrible. I'm not going over and mowing my kids' lawns. <laughs> Actually, I told them many times I'm going to their house to tear it up. <laughs> I get to my house. Hey, remember when this was funny? Ugh. That's right. I would give anything to see us spieling around in the front yard. <laughs> like when I moved to Montreal, I was 17. And I mean, growing up in a rural area, you know, you have large yards. It took me five hours to mow my father's lawn. And I came here, and I'm in these towns like Beaconsfield. They're kind of the college is kind of like a not a rich area, but more well off. And these guys would be crying because their father was saying they had to cut like 15 minutes worth of grass. And it's like, yeah. give me the damn lawnmower. I'll do it myself for the love of God. And you stop fighting. You're crying for two hours over 15 minutes grass. Like it bewildered me this mentality of like you know so so protected from everything and and they never had to know how to get started for themselves they used to when i worked for the big music company i don't know how many times we got reports of parents calling in at their kids 23 uh yeah my son i'd like to bring him in for an interview and stuff like that like you're, you gotta be kidding me are you gonna stay while he works too yeah. are you gonna negotiate his salary for him i mean you know like god well hey maybe it's, it's really a good thing they have the internet yes <laughs> that's right that's right that's why we had to develop it quickly. Yeah. These are the people that will be taking care of us someday. That's the terrifying part. It's, yeah. it's really scary to, to and, and I even, I have parents that, you know, I'm raising Jesse. I had Jesse when I was 40, but most of Jesse's friends' moms are in their 30s, and mm -hmm. it's that's their first child, whereas Jesse's like my fourth and then some kind of yeah. child. And, mm -hmm. and I... I'm such a different mom, but I try to tell those moms like, stop. Yeah. You don't realize what you're doing. It is. With your kid yeah. here. You're crippling them. You're really <laughs> crippling there. them. That's the exact term. You're crippling them. That's exactly what it is. You're doing them no favors whatsoever to get by in this world. Yep. Yeah. I agree with that. There's not a big enough safety net for us. That's right. <laughs> not you. It's terrifying. Yeah. Even like the, the the stuff that kids have. I mean, you watch an eleven year old walk around with a cell phone worth three times more than me, <laughs> clothes five times more than I would wear, and this yeah. right from day one. Yeah, yeah. The Jesse. Last Saturday, Jesse did a vlog, and she did her own vlog. And my neighbor, I was talking to, they thought Jesse was using her own cell phone. My own neighbor, and I was like, Oh no, she does not. <laughs> yeah. have her cell phone. Not my watch. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's my cell phone she's using right now. <laughs> but it's so standard today. It's terrifying. Yeah. And I mean, they, they treat her <laughs> that she had her own cell phone. And yep. the Jesse, Jesse has friends that have Instagram and Facebook accounts. And yeah, I, I know that that's just not something I want to do with my child. Jesse has no idea what goes on on her YouTube videos. She has no idea what goes on in the chat. Yep. <laughs> And I won't, I won't allow it. I know that when we first started playing Pictionary, she wanted to chat, and it was all good and fun until she started, you know, getting a little too crazy with it. And I'm like, ah, no, yeah. we're not chatting. <laughs> <laughs> no, and you don't do that. Like, I went in to check on Audrey a while ago because now after the gun thing, I was scared she was ordering uranium on the black web or something like that. Yes. Right. 
<laughs> I went to check, so we're all safe. <laughs> you don't have a, a Trump. We love Trump. <laughs> we, <laughs> <say it>. <laughs> <laughs> we have to worry about North Korea anymore, but we just have to worry about Audrey. And that's yeah. why I think yeah. maybe yeah. maybe Audrey helped broker that deal. That's what she was doing Audrey's in there. A bigger concern <laughs> yeah. now, yes. That's you don't need those bombs point. anymore. Maybe I can help you out. <laughs> I have a question for you, uh, since, uh, Kathy, since your uh, main, uh, you know, channel uh, was more reading books uh, and we're go going towards the night part of the day, I was going to ask you about your favorite uh, book for the nighttime reading. What is your favorite guys oh, book? Okay. Uh, well, it depends on the age. Your. Y your own personal. Yeah. Oh, for me, nighttime reading? What's yeah. Favorite? Uh, favorite book for nighttime reading. Oh, my Bible. <laughs> I, I, I just always read the Bible. I really don't read a lot of books anymore. I'm always reading the Bible. It's true. Eh? Most of your stories revolve in that area even when you were doing story time and stuff like that. Um, probably since 2012, I haven't read an adult book, but the Bible. And it's like a diamond to me because every time I read it, it's it it's constantly changing. I'm constantly getting a different new message from it i can read the same scripture over and over again and i have to ask i, I ask the holy spirit to give me enlightenment and tell me what it is that the purpose is of why i'm reading this and every time i get something different yeah but you've read so. multiple um bible study aids yeah, yeah. all right yeah it helps like decrypting it's like learning different languages within the same thing like you know You'll, you'll read more into the messages and that. I'm sure that all helps mm -hmm. get more out of it. Yeah. Yeah, as you go through life, uh, I think you can find different meanings through the same uh, passages, you know, as yeah. you read. Yeah. But okay. even as an adult, I mean, I still prefer children's stories. Uh, there's such great life lessons in children's stories. So, What is your favorite children's book? I love the Max Lou Cato series. Um, there's a whole series on Max Lucado. I started live streaming them, um, but they're they're just great. They're just about n your self worth and knowing how special you are and knowing that you were created by a maker, and mm -hmm. just the whole point of just not allowing anyone to judge you and not judging others and just accepting them for who you are. And there's just so many different life lesson lessons in all of those series. I love it. Um, the one, we just, the one we just read was written by Madonna, Mr. Peabody's Apples, and it's just about the power of your words. And I love the message in that. And it and he took a young boy out to the bleachers and told him to cut the feather pillow. And the feather pillows took off in the wind. And he said, now go pick up all those feathers because mm -hmm. those feathers represent every person in the town that you just told this rumor about me about. Mm -hmm. And it taught, a, it taught this child the power of your words means so much and can't pull it back for me. It's just, it's just being children's stories are just so simple. Yeah. I think that in life we need to continue being simple. We try to always make something be more and you just got to keep it simple, stupid, that kiss philosophy have always lived it. Well, most so true. children's stories, I mean, were passed down. I mean, all of them were kind of messages of uh, not like how to be good to each other, all these things, even how to say safe, you know, when you learn the real message between London bridges and all that was all a point in time to, to it was a, a way of building lives out of it. They were strong in messages. Uh, it's, it's a very, there's a whole study just on those. Yeah. 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 And, and I think that's why I love reading aloud because I, I just want there to be a message in there about why we really are here. Why are we really yeah. here? And, and I'm not only that, I, I love humor books because I love to laugh. I mean, we all need to laugh out loud and not take life so seriously. I made a joke two days ago on a comment, which I would have, like I, t I was talking about this earlier, I would have said the same thing to my brother, but it got yeah. taken out of content. Tense. Yeah. Isn't that right? Close enough. <laughs> And I'm just like I'm 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 a funny person. I just yeah I know what a joke. I just <laughs> that's that's why I don't like to text. I think that's the only thing I really love about live streams is because I don't have to type. Yeah. So I have less chance of people taking what it, I it say. It gets the wrong lost way. in translation a lot yeah. because we tend to transition our own emotions and thoughts. That's why I love reading. 
Patsy Houlihan. It, it's just, I can't, I can't keep myself. Oh. <laughs> that <laughs> night <laughs> when we were all on the live stream together, remember, and nothing was working right, and Patsy just would talk every three minutes. I thought you and I were going to go on Oh, my oxygen. God, it was ah. crazy. <laughs> Now, that's why I sent that video to you. Was I know. It? Yeah, I showed him yesterday. I showed him he couldn't stop laughing. Gosh, that was is so funny. And that that's when we're in live streams and we're interacting, and he's laying in bed, and and yeah. I'm, <laughs> I'm like, I want to laugh out loud, but there's times where you know I can't. So I gotta hold it in. Yeah. Oh, I was I blacked out. I think once we were laughing so hard, I was seeing sparkles. My head went out. It was black. I was trying to remember. Then I remember what I was laughing at. And I started again. Uh, <laughs> uh, there was a question about uh, what do you think uh, your guys' weakness? Uh, uh, there is a question from James who's asking what is uh, your guys' weaknesses? His is uh, food, especially chocolate. A weakness. Uh... I don't know what you. Oh, I, I don't what do you mean this pickleball. Yeah, pickleball. Yeah. Mine is you know, definitely. You know what? I, I chocolate and sweets would be. I'm such a sweet tooth that if I would have to ask, answer this question, I would say sweet. I'm second. definitely a sweet tooth person too. Um, our daughter. I, I don't know. Was was it the second Halloween? Her two year old or three year old? I don't know. She sugar, had, she, sugar. she hadn't we had. We she love really, sugar here. She hasn't had. She hadn't had any sugar. Okay, up to like maybe her. She was three years old at Halloween. Oh. Got a piece of a can candy, and I mean, it was like <sighs> it, it never stopped since. It's yeah. the same addiction. I mean, she's got my addiction. I cannot finish a meal without having something sweet afterwards. It, my brain does not believe that the meal has ended. Yeah, until the food weakness would would of course be sugar for us. I mean, I chocolate. I, oh my goodness. Yeah. Mm. I would think, and I mean, I didn't know what weakness. We would, neither one of us have a filter. That's probably our weakness. But I think that's a great part. Like I was saying to you, like the being direct. I think it's very hard to sometimes do that, and not many people are strong enough internally to be direct. And I find you are direct in your videos, and uh, you know, in in the way you're vlogging, and just as a person and yeah. i think that's a strength I, not I, a weakness. I because i i have to give credit to god for that because i fear god he is the only one that i fear and if i can't give him glory in something that i'm doing or being honest if i have to i mean he's the one i gotta reconcile. i gotta i gotta reconcile with <laughs> so if i'm gonna be doing something he's gonna know what i'm doing wrong and and god forbid I piss him off. <laughs> so that's why I feel like I can be direct. And, and I, I already know that I can also be forgiven and, and I'm not perfect and I'm going to flaw and I'm going to screw up. And so is, so is someone else with me. And I have to be willing to give the same mercy, grace. mercy and grace. Mm -hmm. That's a great way to look at it. Yeah. Because I really don't think it's a weakness. I really think it's a strength. Thank you. No, I don't know what oh, uh, Andrew brought me oh, here. Because you were talking right? about sweets, I was just going to show you. This is from my uh, where I grew up. My father sent it to the kids, and that was made by a little maple sugar place by my father. Oh, oh wow, that looks like oatmeal cream pies, the little yep. Debbie's. That's all maple sugar. Wow. wow. And it's that's this traditional way to do it in Quebec. It's always made in the shape of a heart for like the last couple of hundred years. That kind of reminds me of peanut brittle. It, it, oh, it's sweet. Believe me, your teeth oh. ache from it almost. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, I miss that a lot from home. I think you see my video one time, Kathy, the one with all the maple leaves around the lake. Yes. Uh -huh. And that's where that sugar camp is, is right there. That's why all the red leaves are oh, there. That's where you always know you have maple. Oh. Our daughter loves icing. I'm a big cupcake. Being a preschool teacher, all you do is you get cupcakes once yeah, a week. Suppose. So parents always bring in cupcakes. So. But oh. Jesse will literally, he will too. They'll eat icing out of the tub. Mm. <laughs> Me too. I don't see anything wrong with that at all. Absolutely. Just eat the icing. <laughs> Jessica will like literally lick the cake I, and then hand me the cake. <laughs> it's not sweet enough. <laughs> That's right. Now she was asking about weakness. Yeah. 
it would be uh, my honesty. You know, I'm just too honest. I can see that. Oh, no. It's a joke. Um, you go on an interview and they ask you what your weakness is. You tell them you're honest. You're yep. honest. And they say, well, that's not a weakness. And then you say, well, I don't care what you think. <laughs> <laughs> You're so funny, and I'm bad at setting you up tonight. I feel like a bad wingman. No, no, no. <laughs> We're gonna have to get a script together. There you go. You're like me. You got kind of got like a Bob Newhart type of humor, and I like that. I love Bob Newhart. That was a great show. <laughs> you see, he even likes Newhart. Oh, yeah. oh my god, that's my oh. favorite thing ever. <laughs> I I love his. Show. Oh, oh, I just yeah, I love him. I ever I never heard of him obviously before I came over here, but after Andrew introduced me to all different kinds of TV shows, and I I think that's my favorite. And and when I see every time even uh, having cameo appearances anywhere else, I just love his humor so much. He's the ultimate. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> they don't make him like that anymore. Nope. <laughs> Guys. Uh, well, thank you so yeah. much, guys, for there, being. Yeah, I feel so bad for It was a very enjoyable evening. Oh. Yes, was... us too. It, it really felt like a double date. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I don't see myself doing this again, but it was really great. <laughs> <laughs> that was, I said, I love their honesty. <laughs> he just said that was his biggest, his biggest flaw was his honesty. Exactly. No, I said it's not a flaw. So. Well, you know it's love it. Time it is. It's ten after ten. There was a time where you guys glitched and you went out, and I go, "How you doing?" And he goes, "You, you got ten more minutes." That was at ten to nine. There you go. So we got you on, and we got you longer than you thought it would be. So. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and you got lots of people yeah, excited right. to have you both on because yeah. I, I just was, you know, you'll get a guy see uh chat afterwards. Every new person popping in is like, oh, there are two of them. Yeah. Oh, Kathy has a husband. <laughs> yeah, Kathy does have a husband. Yeah. Like I said, we were starting to think he was a legend. <laughs> well, there was a movie where that the gal paid an actor, paid an actor. Yes. Right? Yeah. That's it. I'm a paid actor. You're doing a great <laughs> job. I seen you in the I seen you in a preparation commercial one time. Preparation H, I think. I remember you. <laughs> yeah, I <ran> <laughs> Talk about this Easter. <laughs> you were patient number three. You did a great job. <laughs> <laughs> I feel squirmy now. Uh, 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 uh. You should do it stand up. That's true. <laughs> I think I should have let him drink. He may have been a little bit less. I would, I would, I don't drink much, but I'd gladly sit down with him for a bottle. Like I'm always on. Oh no, he's completely different once he's had some alcohol in him. Trust me. Really? I want to see more. Completely out of the uh, subject question. Do you play any uh, instrument, like a guitar or something? <laughs> no. He has nothing musical um, about him. That's not true at all. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. I'm a wonderful, beautiful singer as well. I know you're not. <laughs> you know what happened to me? I wanted to play the saxophone. Oh. Um, but my brother played the clarinet and quit it before I um, he quit. And our parents said, well, here, we've got this clarinet. It's pretty close to a saxophone. <laughs> oh, oh, no. No, it's not. No. So well, I played it that for about four years. I got I got to meet a lot of nice girls. Really? <laughs> well, yeah, because that's the only uh, that's the only people playing the clarinet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a, how oh, crafty that's is smart. that? And I wasted all my time playing drums. I should listen to this guy. Our son's oh, no, playing clarinet now. So I can play the drums. That's for sure. I used to have hair right down the like really, literally almost to my waist. I was in a thrash metal band and everything. And well, you know, I can sort of see that. Yeah, uh, there's parts of it. Yeah, we were laughing about my tattoos last night. That's a million years ago. I would have guessed drummer. Yeah, I, drummer? I, well, I played guitar. Yeah. This is the wow. true story. In a small town in the gas base, so they got 80 guitar players, two bass players, and no drummer. Oh, I just lost them, though. They didn't want to hear about the drums. I, yeah. <laughs> I pushed we're it too far. We're past the limit. Yeah. There they go. I'm back. There they're back. <laughs> <laughs> they said they didn't want to hear about the drums. They made it out of it. So no, no, and and, and, eight so, years and sixteen years old, and a friend of mine's father was a drummer in one of the local country bands, 
And God help me, this is a bad story to tell, but he had a little bit of an alcohol issue. So I got a friend of mine to buy two 12 cases of beer. I brought them to his place, got him drunk, and bought his drums for $200 and left. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm waiting for the first week that they're going to come and want them back. He never showed up, and that's how I taught myself how to play drums. And then we had a band. Well, uh, needless to yeah. say, his uh, parents weren't too happy about his choice of uh, buying <laughs> drums. <laughs> We didn't have a basement. I played in the bedroom above the kitchen. So my father lost more weight in his whole life when I played drums. And their bedroom is right beside it. So, yeah. Uh, yeah my father quite... lost almost 40 pounds from me playing. <laughs> <laughs> we bought a set of drums for our middle son. Oh. Yeah. And we weren't terribly upset when he didn't want to play him anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it was heart crushing, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> that's a that's an awful thing when a parent, when a child doesn't want to play the drums anymore. A parent like, we even had a basement. Well, that's at least you had that. That's better. Yes. Because playing over top of your parents' kitchen is not fun for anybody at any time. No. Yeah. That's gone. Awesome. That's great. Yeah. Wait, Matthew Matthew though, he the one he we bought drums for, he's very musically inclined he taught himself piano just a couple years ago um oh wow cool piano yeah. you can play anything afterwards that's amazing though incredible he just on youtube learned and to now he, he just he just picks up the song just like that and then he took off the ukulele and now he's bought himself a guitar and Excellent. wow that's good Smart kids. Yep, I believe music really does add to intelligence. You know, it really does complement it. It it it's uh, it it builds char character in the mind as well. Mm -hmm. Broadens like languages. Yes, definitely, yeah, definitely. for sure. Yeah. Well. Yep. Are we nice. ready to let them go? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not really sure. I want them to go. I found Chris, and I'm worried I'm not going to get him back. So I don't know if I want to let him go. Just yet. we'll say, but I'm ready. To, I just told him I said I'm best here. in small portions. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I hope we do. I know you, do, but you really did well tonight, and it was such a pleasure talking yes, with you. Thank I, you so much, and yeah. I hope we didn't uh, made you hate YouTube more <laughs> after this live stream. Oh, I hope no, it's the other way. You were you were a real real pleasure to now talk to me to actually talk about him because now he's you know that there's a YouTuber A Joe and I don't know yes. if he's in the chat but I I, I, get listening. Kick out of, I get a kick out of him sometimes talk about Polly his wife you know yes. I can relate because he he says Polly's calling me I have to go and I I think about that I'm like yeah I got, I got one of those <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you Polly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> is always saying hey are you coming <laughs> that's what's so hard for us because i mean our job is our regular job of course we do video and photography and then we do this and we work from home and we work together the lines are so gray that we pretty much almost burnt ourselves out not knowing when to stop one or the other oh yeah it's con constant it's constant really you know <laughs> photo and, and or video it, or youtube or back to photo or YouTube. and it's draining and, and there's no line and yeah. there's no nine to five and well you know my our neighbors they did it great <clears throat> they owned a convenience store and they worked together and ran it he was the boss at work and as soon as they got home she was the boss oh, oh. And I, the, so he's like 67 and she passed a couple of years ago, but I mean, they lived over, they lived next door to us for 10 years and she definitely was the boss at home. Wow. No, no disputing it. <laughs> That's amazing yep. that we could do that. You have to have your boundaries. Yeah. I love that. That's an interesting approach to that. Yeah. It's just with us <laughs> even being at home, like our workers are home, except when we go out for shoots, everything yeah. else we do is in the home. Like yep. where we're sitting right now, we spend so much time here now because this is where we do a lot of our work. And then we get set up for the live stream. And then the kids come in and we eat here half the time and doing stuff. It's all the lines got so blurred that we were really having burnout. I, uh, yep. It was depressing. Well, it was very depressing. Um, you know, the thing is, is if you've got great chemistry, like you seem like you do, it all work out. Mm -hmm. uh, I work from home and the lines between home and work got blurred. Right. So I basically started calling it fully integrated home work or life work, because, um, for instance, Kathy would say, listen, it's it's 930. Why are you working? I'm yeah. like, well, remember, I took Jessica to school and then yes. you called me at lunch and wanted me to go to the store because we <laughs> didn't have anything to eat. And then when you got home, you wanted to watch a movie. I mean, 
I've actually got to try to get a lower work done. <laughs> That's true. And it it's is. very hard to like distinguish yeah. sometimes as Andrew was talking about. It, it gets blurred so much. It's hard in a way when it is not, you know, nine to five because you always seem you know have something else to get done yeah. <laughs> there's always something to do so it's never ending it doesn't end just because it's five and the same with you guys i mean with younger kids you know we were, yeah. get going sometimes you got a lot to do and doing this and then we started noticing our kid just fell asleep you know and that guilt that happens like you know i never said good night mm -hmm. never got to spend that 30 minutes after homework or whatever was done yeah and you just got to kind of pull back no idea what jesse's been up to the last <laughs> Maybe her and Audrey are working out that North Korean deal together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the good thing is our boys are home, so I'm sure she's watching a movie with Michael. Or oh, I'm sure she's making good time of it like that. Yeah. <laughs> well, she's always got big brothers, the same as our daughter. She'll always at least have big brothers in her corner if somebody tries to – it makes them cry, and they'll be there to yeah. – <laughs> they'll cry more in the end. On the shoulder. Yes, that's right. Exactly. I like that way. I would always want the, the daughter younger. I'm old. Yeah, yeah I agree. Yeah. That's a very, that's a comforting feeling. <laughs> yep, someone to always look after him. That's right. <laughs> that's true. I, I, that, that's and different for us the last couple of years because he he was working from home for three years and then he went back to working in the office. So it's that it's was a month a, of depression. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that's where I got my room. I don't know if Zen you might remember from my vlogs, but that was our home office. Mm-hmm. I took, I made myself a sitting room out of it. And, and I've got that chair in the basement now. Yeah. <laughs> TV. <laughs> TV and chair in the basement. That's yeah. right. <laughs> oh, guys, you've been so awesome. Uh, thank you so much again to choosing so uh, your date night uh, yeah. time spending with us. It was really awesome. People are so excited to I have know, you it's on. Been unbelievable. Uh, I, yeah, but, I will go back and watch the replay and I will try to comment and go visit these channels. And I look forward to reading the chat. I feel bad that I've kind of ignored it this whole night, but. No, no, but I mean, that's the, when you guys are on, you're together. Xenia is always watching on the side as well, and you guys are skimming as you know, yeah. And everybody's been just uh, so excited yeah. to have you, and just good words, and, and just hoping to have you back on. And, and very really positive. nice to see you, very positive feedback very for positive. sure. <laughs> I love you all so much. I've loved interacting with the whole community, and it's been wonderful. That's Thank amazing. you so much. <laughs> you guys take care. Thank you. Chris, I want to see you back online. You should be online. You do great online. So it's been such a pleasure having you. Thank you for your time. And well, Kathy, it's always a pleasure. We'll have lots of more laughs together, I'm sure. Thank yep. you. Okay, well, <laughs> see you in a year or two. Yeah. <laughs> I hear 2020 is going to be a great year. So that's the it's year. Got a ring. It's got a ring to it. <laughs> Bye, guys. Have a good night, guys. Good Thank night. you so much. Good Bye night. now. Bye-bye. That was absolutely oh, that's so amazing. Cool. Uh, Guys, was that not like a, like absolutely amazing? Yes, it, Mr. Matt, fantastic stream again tonight. Thank you. Uh, it was fantastic. That's so true. Uh, love you, Miss uh, Kathy yeah. from Avery's. Uh, big thumbs up, best friend. Yes, yeah. thank you for putting the link in. I was posting it earlier, but thank you for putting it now in as well. Um, great job, Kathy and Chris. It was fantastic. I got to know you both. Oh, uh, uh, River both Philip. Too. Riverboats, I think, is going. So I just wanted to say thank you so much for coming. Yeah, well, uh, they just only got in now, unfortunately. Yeah. So go back and watch it. It was yeah. amazing. You love it. I'm sure you're gonna love it. And Aaron just stuck for the night. So yeah, <laughs> you've been listening to this quite uh, patiently too. So, mm. uh, thank you so much for being here. You guys been awesome supporting and and being as much excited uh, with Kathy and her family being on as we were. Yeah, we were so looking forward to this uh, live stream, and I know Kathy was as well. So. We're just happy we had, I think we had an awesome time. This was amazing. Sides. It was really amazing. Like the participation was unbelievable with you guys. Like, and, uh, oh, uh, Benjamin, God, it's our pleasure. I mean, great guests make the show and you guys in the chat, we're just kind of, 
opening up the house of, so everybody has a place to go to for it. Yeah, as know? I was saying uh, in the chat earlier, you guys are awesome too. It's a, it's so amazing to have this interaction with you uh, all as well. So You're a great, uh, great audience. Thank you so much. Uh, tomorrow we have a day off. I'm sure Andrew is still going to stream his coffee <laughs> time in the morning. So if you get yeah. bored in the morning on Sunday, I'm sure it's going to be on. Uh, but uh, next week we are booked fool again <laughs> nobody paid her i've not seen you today sorry hon i just was because i just went tonight and seen you in a little while so i went back and watched one of your videos so i'm glad you could come right, go ahead. uh so Continue. next week is gonna be full of guests again we have uh oh, yeah it's 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 full of amazing guests uh monday tune in at 8 p.m eastern for uh Nice and sweet talk with our 16 year old guest, uh, Reese's Mill Off uh, Road. Yeah, uh, he is amazing young yes. man. Uh, he uh, is cool. Some instruments as well. La la la! I think they can see us now. I believe so. <laughs> uh, he's also playing some instruments, mm -hmm. and he is, I think, a little bit of a history buff uh, mm -hmm. towards his family roots. So, although he's only sixteen, I think it's going to be quite interesting conversation. Yeah. Uh, and then we have uh, different uh, big and smaller channels, and some scary ghost night following next. Friday. So if you are interested in ghost stories, so you gotta tune in that for that one. So and guys, in the next couple of days, we're gonna be like next couple of weeks, I should say. We're reaching out already and we're starting to go. Even some people who are big uh, podcasters, but not necessarily so big in the YouTube community right now. Yeah. But they have big followings in the YouTube community, and that's gonna help bring in more people and you'll get to meet new people. Yeah, uh, like so one, one of that is going to be starting already next week. We're going to have a guest that has, although has a very small YouTube channel, which is completely unrelated to what they're doing in their uh, regular day-to-day -day life. Yeah. Uh, they're pretty huge in a different community. Uh, so we're, we are, uh, you know, thankful they reached out to us and uh, we'll be very happy of, uh, for having them on Thursday. Yep. I'm still not going to reveal who is it, but as we come closer. <laughs> <laughs> Stay tuned for the promo videos. That's yep. why we put them up that day. Usually when the, only once I think we put up a promo video where somebody had to change at the last second, but usually that's pretty much then when we're. Yeah. So look out for our promos on Twitter and. Uh... Cause never forget the, everybody that's coming on here. I mean, is not getting paid for or anything like that. And uh, so it's not like they have to come under contract or no, anything. Oh my God. <laughs> so we do appreciate the time. And I mean, we have to work with them a little too. I mean, when things yes. do come up. Exactly. So a uh, couple little, uh, uh works out and if you don't see our twitter tune back in every day at 8 p.m easter every night except Ooh. for sunday Excuse and me. we yeah. guarantee you it's yeah. gonna be fun stay tuned and yeah. be creative have a great night Love guys ya. i'm going to sleep enjoy your <laughs> night bye now <laughs>